is sponsored by BetterHelp. Lawrence, Lionel, Sam, and this is that One Piece talk, <laughs> where we talk One Piece. Woo! 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 <laughs> Episode 115, guys. Thank you for being here. Today is going to be a special three-hour special, special, special episode. Because for the agenda today, we are going to be finally catching up with everybody else in the world about the One Piece live action show. Yes, we are late to the party, and literally, I do not mind because from what we've been hearing, it's been pretty good reviews. Some are mixed reviews, but most of them are good, so I'm very excited to hear that because we are One Piece fans at the end of the day, so we do want this to be phenomenal. Uh, don't be too picky, guys. I just want to say that because this is a show where... It's live action. You you know, you're just going to have to... They, if they have some liberties, you got to have to deal with it. It's going to be either way, we eating good, right? <laughs> so, um, we are going to be doing episode one, which means since season two won't be coming out for a while, we have time to burn. I figured we'd do this as a weekly thing, and I think that would be really cool to do because, honestly... We don't have to be the first people to just put out stuff immediately, right? Like, I kind of want to enjoy this, and I hope you guys feel the same way at home doing it with us. So, we are going to watch the live action episode one today, and then further on as each week goes by, we'll do the same with each episode. Then, we're going to do the latest chapter. Yes, I know the chapter came out for some people like a week and a half ago, <laughs> but the chapter officially dropped uh, this Sunday that just passed on Viz, uh, Shonen Jump, and there are some translation differences. So, we are going to be jumping into that. Now, you may be asking the question, are you guys going to be watching the hypest episode of the anime for Gear 5? I'm going to be honest with you. We don't got much time. So <laughs> we're probably not, and we're probably going to save that for later unless these guys watched it. I haven't talked to them about it, so we'll figure that out. But that's the agenda today. I really want to hit some calls. I want to speak to some of the fans, and I really want to just watch this one. I'm really interested to watch it with my guys. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you be for being a part of this. Thank you to everybody that showed up from TikTok and Instagram and Spotify and all the things that you guys participate in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And like the stream. Yeah, and like the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, with that being said, I think we should just jump right into Super Chats and saying hi to the chat. And then after that, we'll do our thing. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of people in here. I see Amaha, uh, it's Antho, Elzian, Ryunosuke, Brandon Wickfall, Gadi Usab, Toby, FNF Moose, uh, Blazer Blazer, Plagon, uh, Bryce, Subterranean Edward, OG Lion, Mary Senpai, The Finesser, Hime's in here. What's up, Hime? Austin Hart, Shy Guy, Broker, Straw Hat Nate, uh, Trev, Quavo, Logic, According to Tay, Lung, Young Lou, Miguel Rosal Portillo, uh, Magic Specter, just so many people in here, y'all. Terrence Davis, Procumbent, Kevin Salinas, Magic, Akuma, King Cagney, Chestnut's in here. What's up, Chestnut? Uh, Sunayami, JoJo, just so many people here. I love to, I love to see so many people. Like the yeah. stream if y'all haven't already, please. Yo, Marv, you know where that that sound bite is from? It's something called Fairy Tale. It's like a... <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, fairy tales are... It's not, it's not hentai, but oh. it's, it's very fan service. It's... And they do that when fan service happens. <laughs> yeah. That's from fairy tales? I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't know that. I, I like fan service. You, you like fairy tale, bro? I, thought it was you watch I don't. You watch I a don't. fairy tale for the plot? Think? No, I wasn't. I thought that was from that movie. It was for it? one specific chick. I swear. Which chick, bro? Forgot her name, but she like controls time and stuff like that. She ended up getting murked. <laughs> Spoilers, bro. You were never. I'm never watching. Yeah, you were never watching. I'm never watching fairy tale, bro. 
But yeah, so um, any super chats? Yeah, we got a couple super chats sitting. Uh, we got go. two dollars from Ryunosuke. It says made it just in time. No work today. What's good? Shout out to Ryunosuke, man. Shout out to him, man. Glad you're not working as most people shouldn't be working today, as it is Labor Day. We got another two-month membership to Nakama status Thank from you. Austin Hart. It says, Thank here you. for Thank the you. peak. Yes. I uh, appreciate that, Austin. Seriously. Yes, yes. Thank you. We got another two from Ryunosuke. It says, watch the first episode with my girlfriend, and she loved it. I know she loves your hair, too, man. I know that. I know that. But I, I love it. <laughs> you just jealous. Uh, but, yeah, we're hearing good things about the anime, well, the, the live action. We'll see. Yeah. We got another four-month membership to Shichi Bukai status from Project Iceman. It says, do my eyes deceive me? Lionel is here for the <laughs> eighth time this year. <laughs> LOL. Laughing emoji. Yeah. Awesome to see you guys again. Looking forward to your reaction. Thank you so much. Yes, Lionel is in the building. Yeah, Lionel is here. <laughs> you, you have any words for the people? I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> uh, always good to have Lionel on the show. We got yeah. another two from Trev. It says, I need Lawrence to come with some chaos again. Uh, we, we saw the episode a little spicy last week. I'll say that. Lionel wasn't here for that, but it got spicy, man. Yeah. Lawrence was wild. Yeah, he was wild. <laughs> Lionel would agree with me, man. I'm telling you that we'll see right now. <laughs> Did you ask him? Yeah, we talked about it. Oh, okay. You agree with him? It's the Rayleigh uh, Cazaro thing. I'm trying to remember the argument now. He said Who that, you got? He said that Rayleigh at Sabaody Archipelago would have beat Cazaro. I said could have. It's an argument. He could have. Could have. Come on, bro. We're going to get past this. Anyway. We can't we, do this again. We got another five from Procumbent. It says, what's the strongest animal in the show? For me, it's the dugongs. They can use hockey. <laughs> Hashtag Lawrence D. Dilf. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Juicy Booty Set. <laughs> you can tell Pro don't know me, bro. I got no cake. No cake whatsoever. It's a struggle. We got another Yo, two from what? Anime's Judgment Day. It says, put it on record, Seb. You write Rayleigh be cheating. I tried to tell them Rayleigh was cheating, bro. Oh, Rayleigh was cheating. Oh, no, no, no. Turn that screen. Keep talking. Keep talking. He's talking about... Um, uh, on Shocky. Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro, he's oh. not loyal to her, bro. Yeah. He's I mean, loyal to her in his own way, but he's not, like, loyal. So you, know, you never saw him with another woman like that. She though. straight up said he yeah. probably with some other girl right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Made up. Not, that's true. I haven't I seen that. this man in months. Yeah. But you don't know he went to bed with him. Come on, Lionel. Biblically, bro. <laughs> he knows them biblically, bro. But, yeah. Thank you, Anime Judgment Day. We got another five from Kermit. It says, can't wait for the episode today, but I also want to say we heard, have we heard anything from Meet Me? Hope he and his family are good. Hashtag stepdad law. Yeah, I hope Meet Me is all right. <laughs> I think I heard from him on the Discord. I can't, I can't understand what he said. <laughs> you missed a lot. You missed a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> you need to tell me something, Lawrence? <laughs> <laughs> oh man we got oh, man. another two month membership to Nakama status from Anthony Herrera it says Thickiana Larry hashtag Lionel finally back in this bit <laughs> how you feel about the Thickiana Larry I got cakes bro yeah you, he got more than me bro <laughs> yeah. got more than me. I'm out here bro <laughs> we got another lucky it's not Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> We got another six from Sulphur. It says, first time catching live. Been listening for a couple months now on Spotify. Love the streams. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Sulphur. And shout out to all yes, the Spotify you. listeners. We love y'all. Apple Podcast, too. Yeah, man. Anybody, any any medium you consume. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We got another five from Fell Winter Peak. It says, do y'all think Killer can be any first commander or second? No. Oof. No. Come on, like, in a Yonko crew or just in general? I think he's talking about Yonko crews. I don't think there's anybody in the Yonko crews that Killer can beat mm. as far as a... I think he's he's third commander level, straight up. Like, that's where he's at. You got him... I think he could beat Queen. I don't think he could beat Queen. Nah, I don't think he I don't... I'm not even sure he beats Jack. That's... I'd give that's him a, a double over Jack. It, that'd be a good fight. I'd give him a double over Jack. That'd be a good fight. Yeah, it would be a good fight. Yo, but Jack loses Maybe. everybody. No, that's not... <laughs> that's not <laughs> Jack loses oh, everybody, oh, J- bro. Jack can fight for, for a long time. Durable. Yeah, he, he didn't lose to Dog Storms. He just don't got no name to text. 
And he was fighting <laughs> both Su Long yeah. Links together. At the same, by, yeah, by himself at he, the same time, bro. He ain't win, but that's a lot of deal. When? I don't think Killer. Hold on, you think, think Killer's dealing with that? You mean on Zunisha? No, on 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 oh, yeah. yeah. The the Minx, the Dukes went too long. Jack stood up and fought them. He lost, but but he also was, no, but he got beat by just one of them. No, no, no you're, you're thinking happened. you're thinking of after. We're talking when he was trying to protect Kaido yeah. on the rooftop. Yeah, he fought both of them. With his, he has people with him. I remember. And then Zunisha, when they were on Zo, he couldn't... Um, they couldn't the two, be him. Yeah, they couldn't be him during that time either. And also, before he fought the two Ming Kings on um, on Zunisha, he fought all their their yeah. warriors beforehand and beat them. That's when the two kings stepped up. And then Jack So y'all telling me y'all can see Jack Beating or Queen putting out damage against Kaido the same way Killer did? No, but you know I don't scale like that. No, but you, no, you know I don't scale no, like that's that. Different you really, it's only one attack. Yeah, yeah, again, yeah. Kino mode has hurt Kaido, bro. Like yeah. it's not, it's not like yeah. that, bro. Because I, I feel you, <laughs> but like, <laughs> no, look, he easily no diff talkings too. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think it's right. If they oh, have, like that. if they have Rio, they can affect Kaido. Yeah, it matters if you have certain specific to hurt Kaido. I get you that. You can hurt him. But I, 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 I get believe that. King has, but it. Queen. Killer we got way too much in his bag for Killer to lose, for, for Killer to beat him, to me yeah. personally. Yeah. Way too much. Yeah. Unless he just start chopping things off. Yeah, maybe. We did get another $2 super chat from Grant Zimmerman. It says, Blackbeard or Kainu final, final Saga? Love the pod, guys. Um, I think the Blackbeard fight comes before the world government fight. So. You're saying Blackbeard and Luffy Final Saga? You're saying Blackbeard or Kainu? Like, which is the, basically, uh, which villain's coming first? It's. Well, it's not going to be a kind of. It would be the world government. It would be final Emu song. or whatever would be the yeah, final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got. I mean, right now it kind of seems like it's going to be the Marines, but you know things could just twist like that in one piece. So no, like, it's going to be the world government. It has to be. That doesn't mean a kind of doesn't come first. Yeah. Larry, right. I don't know. I really don't know. Mm -hmm. We did get another five from James Hudson, aka Pig. It says, "Just popping in to share some love." Hashtag Larry has bad takes. Hashtag Sims for Seb. Hashtag Lionel isn't real. Hashtag Lawrence cult. <laughs> I don't like any of these hashtags. <laughs> you don't like Sims for Seb? Why are you a hater, bro? No. Not, why are no. you hating that? Yeah. yeah, why are you hating on Sims for Seb, bro? I mean my hashtags. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't... <laughs> He's coming for the boy, bro. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like that. Hey, we did get another twenty gifted memberships from Pig, aka James Hudson. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you guys. Uh, for the channel, Pig. For Thank those you, of y'all who are getting these memberships, please throw W's in the chat yeah. for Pig. He's awesome. And like the stream. We're at two hundred and eight viewers right now with only seventy five likes. Please drop us a like if you like what you're watching. But that's yeah. all the soups for now. That's all it. All right. So, um, guys. We're gonna just start watching the One Piece live action. Uh, watch it with us. Listen, if it's your first time watching us, we talk during it, bro. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with that. You're gonna have to take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so currently right now, Marv is gonna put it up. Marv, will it be on the right bottom side of their screen? It'll be on the right bottom side of your screen, guys. You'll be able to see it. Marv can't show it entirely, right? He can't play the sound at all. So we're not going to get flagged. But you'll be able to see snippets as we're watching. You'll be able to see as we're talking. So hopefully you enjoy our reaction. And I'm ready, man. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can take off our headphones, right, Morph? Yeah? Uh, All right. All right. Let's see. You guys think those are real ships? I mean, I think some might be um, real, and the re and majority of it's CG. yeah. I'm gonna go CGI. That's just a you lot of ships. You think all of them? No, nah, it's gonna be a few. Those are CGI. Those That's are CGI. a lot of ships to just have, bro. For a... I think at least some of them. Oh, this is Roger's execution. Yeah, twenty-two. Is that how it looked? Ha <laughs> ha. 
They ain't show the bounty. Yeah. <laughs> they actually have is actually legit. Did the bounty hit him in the face? <laughs> Dragon in a green hoodie. Yeah, I was about to say. I mean, that was accurate. I mean, we don't know if he was there, there, but we know he was present. They have Garb do this? Hmm. That's not accurate, though. Garb wasn't there. You should have been fighting Shiki right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Garp is Scottish? Yeah, I was say <laughs> 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 Young Miog. Got those pirate teeth. I like I like that he has the pirate teeth. I don't. But I understand <laughs> it. Yeah, I like I like what? Shanks. I don't like yeah, how Shanks look looks. Her. That woman we just saw. Who was that? Is she somebody? If I remember that correctly, wasn't that where Crocodile was? Nah. Hey, yo, listen. Stop. Hey, listen. We didn't see Crocodile. Listen. Face. Oh, they actually showed him get oh. murdered. Oh, yeah, they yo, did. Shanks didn't seem to care about what was happening. Yeah. Yeah, did I, did I peep that? Shanks yeah. was just chilling. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't what? think Shanks was here. No, he was here. Yeah, yeah. But like he was just chilling just now. Like, we don't know if they actually saw it, but we know they they were present during the time that it was. Smoker, yeah. Smoker, yeah. I didn't see him, no. Was that with the with the gray hair I saw? He looked blonde. Yeah, he was he like. He did blonde look blonde. Maybe it wasn't smoker. I saw somebody with light gray. I hair. did see light gray just now. Roger ain't die yet? I don't like that he didn't do the I left everything in one piece thing. That's but, Mihawk's ship. Mm. Fourth wall breaking? <laughs> it yeah. seems like it. Yeah. Oh, he's talking to the bird. Mm. It does look like he's actually in order, though. I give it that. This bird looks dope. That's the newspaper birds. I didn't realize that was it from the first episode. The one that bring the newspapers. Is that fish? I don't know. I'm sure he's going to eat. It I'm sure he's going to eat that food, Yeah, that bro. food would have been gone. <laughs> it's still he ate it. Is he supposed to get something by a whirlpool or not just... Luffy was stank after that. <laughs> Luffy always stank, bro. He don't shower. He showers. He showers. What's, what's the, the pace? It's like but, once a week or something? Yeah, bro. You think he don't stank? Yeah, once a week, like bro. Me. Smoking that fire. The Alvita pirates. Oh, nah. You think we get a lot of, like, sea battles? I hope so. That would be cool. I don't mean, see why not. Oh, they gave her an actual mace. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
actually kind of looks like her. Yeah, I like that yeah, shit yeah. a little overweight. Yeah, a little thick on. How you know she's <laughs> a little thicky? Like, when she gets skinny, yeah. That dude's dead. Gone, bro. <laughs> that dude is <laughs> dead, gone, bro. bro. Can't get hit with a face with a maze. He's even more done, bro. This is One Piece. They ain't dying. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's that live action. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm not just like I'm open in that first. Was she in that thing first? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Wait, why is she looking for Zelda? Mm. Bro, y'all trying to tell me that guy's still alive right now? Kobe. She's like, yo, clean up this blood, bro. And she was like, Kobe, come to my chambers. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> Need to speak to you about something. Imagine that's how she like drink tea. Yeah. She just, just used her used the maze to <laughs> her enemy's blood from the maze. Yeah, that is disgusting. That's something Big Mom would do. I don't even know that Big Mom would do that. Yo, imagine Big Mom in this. I'm sure you didn't say Kaido. Like he is a dragon. Big Mom legit eats people. You think she's? Not <laughs> he is a dragon. That's true. Ah, uh, he, he didn't knock it. it out. Oh yeah, but this you guys had to open it for alcohol mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think Chestnut was going crazy over Kobe. She has like the biggest fan crush on him. Was she? Yeah. Luffy was just trying to steal food. They said the guy playing Kobe is 17, so Chestnut got to watch herself, bro. <laughs> <laughs> FBI! <laughs> oh, so this is Luffy's flashback? Because the shirt. Oh, yeah, this is Luffy. Mm. I was wondering who that little brown kid was. <laughs> yeah, was, I was, I was brown like, kid. We got a Scottish grandfather. Yeah. Is that Yasa? Bucky Roo. He got meat on his neck. He black. That's funny. He got both arms, too. Where's Beckman? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. There you oh, go. that's Beckman. Who? There was a guy with a sash. Yellow sash. Yeah. I didn't see him. Over there. Oh, man. Yeah. See how they do an anime. He looks about to stab himself in the face. Ain't no, no way, way bro. bro. <laughs> That's back from no. I can't. <laughs> They gotta recast that dude, bro. Yo, Yo they bro. Wild. bro. <laughs> they wild. He supposed to be like the most handsome dude on the crew, right? Besides Shanks. Yeah. 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 You think he really stabbed himself, bro? Yo, Luffy. Look, can Luffy look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> 
I told you. I eat it. Come to my cabin. <laughs> Ch uh, chestnuts de Alvita. <laughs> Yo. She ain't here, bro. She gonna come for you. Yeah, she's gonna tear me up, bro. I know I'm gonna get a text. <laughs> Imagine Luffy was like, stop being up there. <laughs> That's what he could have said. I mean, he kind of did do that to a degree later on. Marv, you could probably turn it up a little bit. It's not picking us up, picking it up like that, right? I think we're fine. Because us talking on top of it is. Yeah, yeah. That's better. I'm surprised they didn't go to Fusha Village first. It's interesting. Because that's where we meet the bandit. And that's how this being the flashback, yeah. Like yeah. they they show it seems like they're showing it in flashback. Where yeah. Like they cut from that one where yeah. he stabbed himself. So I think they'll. I'm just that. being picky. Yeah. yeah. I thought he was gonna hit him with it for a second. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luffy would do that though. Yeah, he would do that. Alvita how is get not there, ready like that, bro. <laughs> she just gets you through. <laughs> I love that she looks like she could just take on a full plate of tacos, bro. <laughs> it really makes me happy. I don't even like overweight women like that. Yeah, bro. I like them thick. We know. <laughs> but I'd smash. As long as she can cook, bro. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I was wondering because the thing she had before wasn't the same. She needs to talk to me like that, bro. You could tell she's from Jersey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you, bro. <laughs> Marv, right? She just looks like somebody that's like from... Marv, like, I know her, bro. <laughs> We don't say Luffy says she runs dumb, but not as fat. That dude got rocked. That was a good looking flip, though. Yeah, I was thinking it actually looked like he did it. She was like, huh? <laughs> he done. Bro, he done. His chest is <laughs> hurt. <laughs> His chest is hurting, bro. No way she about to wreck the boat. Yeah, I was thinking destroying your own ship. <laughs> dumb. Yeah, dude, this is dumb. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> it lit on fire? Yeah, I don't know why. No, she had a light. Oh, the thing. okay. I was confused. Yo. <laughs> yo, yo, that would go. I'm not gonna lie, that would nah. crazy, bro. <laughs> that feels the meanest thing. Yeah. 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 You, you think they bring her back? Yeah, yeah like buddy. the way yeah, you think they do? I feel like she got taller too when she slimmed up. Yo, low key, Kobe really a straw hat. On the low. Chill out, bro. People Chill don't want to admit it, though. Chill out, bro. They really don't, bro. Chill out, bro. He was the first one to rescue another straw hat. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. What island was this? Zoro. Sixes? I don't think Sixes we ever were here, never for real. Sixes, I, I don't think so. I'm trying to remember when. Do you remember Alligator matching Zoro that much, though, in the anime? No. I don't. No. I don't they, remember. They, they seem to be taken. It's like Garp was at the execution. Like they take yeah, some li well. liberties, and he's Scottish for whatever reason. They made Garp way too serious too, and Scottish. Hello, so. friend. And then Luffy's like, "What's up, Grandpa?" <laughs> 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 Mm 
Mm. Shadow Law. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like. Yo, right? <laughs> they mad confident putting the broke works out, yo. They got business cards. <laughs> Is the guy that he is gets married to Miss Monday? No, I don't think you ever see Mr. Seven. Never? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah like they, Zorro said, oh, yeah, there was a guy named Mr. Seven that came after me way back. Mm. This is that story that Zorro told. And he's dual blades. That's... Observation hockey. <laughs> <laughs> but Zorro said that he wanted, like, as long as you make me your leader. That was to Mr. One, or, or he said... No, he said it to them. Oh. Then they, you Listen, know. bro, as long as swords are hitting, we straight, bro. Mm. Yeah, I... <laughs> I mean, he like, oh, nah. He's like, yo, did you just style on me? Isn't this kind of around your Roni Kenshin? Because the, oh, bamboo, yeah. the bamboo uh, well, tree. Well, this guy was in Roni Kenshin. He was Anishi, right? Yeah. Yeah. Counter! <laughs> oh, oh, I was thinking. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah. Yo! Yo! <laughs> I was about to say that too. Do you think his guy was not expecting Yo! No! Bro! Bro! There's no way, bro. <laughs> They said we dead in that. They don't, they don't yeah. clip people <laughs> early, bro. I win it though. Yo, Oda was like, yo, just do it. <laughs> just, just do it. Why not? <laughs> Mr. Seven, we never saw him anyway. <laughs> yo, he really cut the dude in half, bro. Charles a murderer, <laughs> yo. <laughs> In the manga, he did. What was it? He, Yo, he got bro. his bounty for like what was it ending like a hundred at least. Bro, they bounty? said he 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 collected the bounty. They never said he was clipping dudes. There's no, no way. Yo, bro, of course, bro. At no, Whiskey was, Peak, he ended I, them. No, I don't think they said he actually took. In them the out. manga, yeah, they said he did. I don't know. They said he defeated them, but I don't know if he. They said the that. anime said that. I remember the manga said he ended them. Hmm. Come on, sir. Oh, they got Bing Saki playing in the background. Yeah. I'm very interested yeah, they, in seeing this devil fruit looks like. Did y'all peep that Mr. Seven was a minority? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, I dude. Just want to put that out. <laughs> Yo. First time he on screen, he ends a minority. That's crazy. Wow, bro. Oh, so you don't have him eat it during the during the bar scene? Yeah. They should have just made the devil fruit like cake. This looks like a toy. Oh, I got you. Those uh, decorated yeah, cakes. Yeah, they, I've yeah, seen yeah. the decorated cakes. Yeah, they look they'd great. be looking, yeah. But they haven't eaten here, not the bar, the whole scene where he like... I eat it! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm. Bro, he if really... I saw a fruit like that, I'd be like, nah. So this is supposed to be the bar? Yeah. yeah. It's outdoors. Interesting. That manacle? Ma yeah. Ma 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 yeah, they got to change this Ben Beckman, bro. Oh, nah. <laughs> yeah, he really ate the whole fruit.
Yo, now that I think about it, bro, <clears throat> for Shanks to have a billion bounty at this point of the story, and like people don't realize who he yeah, is. I got it too. Like, bro, I'm sorry, bro. I don't know about all that, bro. Because the common person doesn't know yeah. every pirate. Like, they're yeah. not, he's not like a Yonko, you know? Is that how they had Shanks find them? Okay. Yeah, I will say this, though. If that dude would have did that, I probably would have hooked off, mostly because, like, why are you messing up this girl's bar? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but he was probably like, I'll just pay for it. Yeah, he looks like Kobe, bro. Yeah, he does. His face ain't round enough, though. But I don't think you can get that. <laughs> no, you, you, you can't. What? Somebody who's skinny like that. You see the ship's still on fire. These hoes. <laughs> you think it back to Alvita. Luffy's like, what? <laughs> Just want somebody to step on me. <laughs> Tell me I'm scum. Damn. <laughs> and then he's like, do it again. Yo. <laughs> Yo, did, Co did Luffy slap Kobe like that? I don't remember that. No. Nah, he, he never hit him. He punched him later. He punched him later, yeah. yeah. But no, he didn't. Did he smack him again? <laughs> no, he had him on the shoulder that uh, time. I don't know if I'm feeling Luffy, bro. My man really got on Converse's, bro. <laughs> Yo, being a pirate on the sea sucks, bro. Yeah, bro. There's no way it's a good thing, bro. Did they even talk about Zoro? Uh, Kobe and Luffy? No, no. <clears throat> they should have. Yeah, because it's the whole thing. Because Luffy was actually looking for Zoro, not Alavita. Yeah. <laughs> Foggy gang. <laughs> <laughs> And she was like, don't steal my booty. And then they were Come like, on, that's not what we <laughs> was looking for. Slipping. <laughs> so those two people, like, don't make it. Is that murder? 
Bro, everybody <laughs> dying, bro. <laughs> like, is it though? Avita murked like four people. <clears throat> Marv, we need a different table, bro. <laughs> yeah. If it's not Lauren, I mean, if it's not Sev, it's Lionel, bro. That was crazy. That was that aggressive. Was yeah, that was insane. Bellamy, Foxy, Foggy. Oh, I guess they already talked about Zoro. We missed it. Or they just didn't talk about him at all? No, because they're heading to the base. To get the map. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're in the base to get the map. Are you guys looking at the bounty one? I mean, the wanted posters or not? Nah? Yeah. No. I didn't see all of them, though. I saw Bellamy, Foxy, Alveda. I didn't see Bellamy. Yeah, he was the first one I saw. There's mad marines in here. Oh, okay. They're doing a different story. Bro. Bro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is crazy, Yo, Zorro's a psycho bro. <laughs> bro. I'm asked the bounty. That's how you collect your Dog, bounty. Dog, that's wild. That's how you collect your bounty. You saw was that from, Pete Davidson? No, you saw the guy from Buggy's crew? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought was Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in the unicycle? Imagine he's like, I'd murk you. You know who you are. You know what you are. Monkeys. Imagine <laughs> you just start doing freezing terminology. Oh, nah. You like rum? I like back shots. He's like, what? <laughs> You need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, yeah. What? Remember the girl that put like chocolate with rice balls? Or no, sugar, sugar with rice balls? I think he's gonna backhand it for like a second. What's his name? Sal Mepo, shut up. Sal <laughs> <laughs> Mepolo? Sal Was his hair more ridiculous than this? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was a mushroom cut. <laughs> it like combed over and then, then inside. Honestly, that was tighter. dirty as heck. Yeah, that was mad dirty. Respect. He probably stepped in poop and you just ate that. See, it made more sense when he was trying to survive than the spar scene, but okay. Yeah. That was a Sanji movie. Yeah, it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point of that, Kobe? Nah. <laughs> he out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way a cup did that to you, bro. It's like steel. No, Is there kicking people? Oh, okay. I mean, he did kick people in the anime, but yeah. he seems like he's actually doing better than. I like it because they got someone that actually knows, you know, how to fight martial arts. They better do the same with Sanji, though. That's all I'm saying. She out here thieving. I'm about to steal his drawers. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I can't with you.
Najee was like, Yo, you're too close, bro. <laughs> Just back Yo, up bro, a bit. Strong? <laughs> Is he ransoming me? How mempo? Yeah, we never really saw how Zoro actually got captured. Yeah, he did. No, he um gave himself up for the yeah. girl or yeah. whatever. D. I was to make contact, did he? That's old D. Yo, where you ate yourself? He ate that, bro. Can <laughs> <laughs> you see that picture in the back? Judge vibes. Imagine Zoro was like, how do you eat with that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you ever have trouble chewing gum? Like someone like break his jaws, that's why he has that glass thing? Somebody had to. No, it was, I think it might have been Kuro, remember? Hmm. This is an intimate moment, bro. These dudes laying on their backs <laughs> next to each other looking at the stars. <laughs> Crescent moon in the background. Luther Vandross pops on. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe thinking about his ex. I don't know why she treat me like that. <laughs> How about you, Luffy? Would you treat me like that? Okay. He's like never, bro. Never. He's like, damn. <laughs> I wish you would. And then Luffy's like, what? Huh? He's like, nothing. What you said? Kobe, I just asked you something. <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I heard what I heard. He said, yo, you need to chill out. I like. You. Yeah, why are your hand on my shoulder? Put your hand around my neck. Yo. That looks exactly like the thing. Yeah, bro. You feel me? Yo. Or sub kink. Say this, Kobe. We could have make an abridged version. Already. Already. At first, it was two months, right? Something like that, like a month. He was remember. supposed to be tied up for it. like it was like two I feel weeks like it or was a month. month. Yeah, I think it was it was yeah. thirty. Days? And he was like, "Yo, I'm not gonna." He was like, "I'm, I'm gonna outlast this like two months or something." Yeah. Like that. And then they were gonna clip him anyway. Yeah, they were gonna clip him anyway. From what I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I love these marine outfits. I'm not That's gonna lie. Cool. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> look at her. Not smooth at all. Yeah, she's she's fire. Fire. What is her? What is she doing? Finessing. Know. Yeah, what is her plot? Because usually she steals from pirates. It's funny how many people like 
haven't realized how short Emily is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's pretty short. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty short. Yeah. yeah. Like she five. looks so tall and <laughs> right now. Shout out to Emily, bro. Yeah, she was dope. Yeah, she was super cool. How do you even get there? <laughs> My man got on capris for real. I hate that line and everything, bro. <laughs> you don't know anything about me. Luffy out here being Naruto, bro. Yeah, he's he doing a lot of <laughs> talking. A lot of, a lot of people ain't noticing this, but he haven't talked no jutsus with people. <laughs> he having like introspective thought. Like, so, what are we doing? He's like the Drake <laughs> of the pirates. <laughs> he meets a girl going down the wrong path. He's like, yo. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. I wish I could just take it all away for you. It's like the opposite of what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Luffy legit couldn't <laughs> untie him. He got his swords first, right? Yeah, yeah it was, yo, I'll get your swords. Cause and Luffy, then he'll join my group. Because Luffy couldn't untie, he said, I'll cut myself loose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but also, the reason why he joined Luffy because he was indebted to Luffy. Yeah. Because yeah. he kind of saved his life. Like the opposite. Mm. He's like, yo, did this guy just flirt with me? <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting rizzed up right now? <laughs> Unless Nami's collecting maps for her dream, that could be something interesting. That she's collecting instead of creating? Uh, I guess. No, he didn't. Oh, she's using it to steal. That's what it is. Steal treasure. When I was trying to throw it at me. <laughs> uh, you can't be fumbling that hard when you're trying to shoot somebody, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they be rocking people, man. I think this is for Arlong. She's stealing it for Arlong because I forgot the map of the Grand Line. It's a pretty long episode. How long is this episode, Mark? How many, how many more minutes we got? <laughs> you just... 10 minutes? Okay. I'm shocked.
<laughs> that was very <laughs> Disney. That was very <laughs> Disney. Yeah. Actually, something reminded me of um that G five a little bit. Uh, Yo, I yeah. hope they they're never gonna end it. They're not gonna do a G five, bro. Yeah. G G eight. Honestly. They should do that they over should. the Foxy. Yo, yeah. they should, but yeah, they won't, bro. Please do over not bring fo- Foxy, bro. <laughs> I hate Foxy. Serious? So. What the? Is that? Who is that? That's, oh, that's, that's him. That's Hel- Helmepo. I thought it was a girl. They did look kind of womanly. I thought it was like Hina. The pink oh, hair chick yeah. with hey, the hey. bars for double fruit. Yo, okay. low key. Okay. Yo, okay. Lawrence Alana, you remember when Sebastian? Oh, Yo! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, Yo! Bro. I was that I don't even bro, what's Why? That? Why? Why yeah. was that a scene? Bruh. Bruh. Zola might kill this man. He Come got on, his son. own teddy bear? Come on, son. Why was this a scene? Yeah, word. Hey, man. I, he should. <laughs> he said he should. <laughs> you about to kick him out the window? I wouldn't do that. I was going to say, you remember when Sebastian was flexing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. I did some push-ups. Yeah, bro. Y'all never forget what Lionel <laughs> told the story, bro. It was so funny. Lionel was just walking up the stairs. <laughs> he saw you. <laughs> like, why was the door cracked, bro? Like, <laughs> if you're gonna do something like that, why was the door cracked, bro? <laughs> Especially like, you know, Lionel was like, wait, do it. <laughs> <laughs> You be flexing now too? Like you be tra- you always, be- bro. He <laughs> <laughs> think it was weird that this prisoner isn't like handcuffed or anything. Nothing, just walking, and he just like talked her up. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. He talked no Jew to him, bro. <laughs> but he seems a little smoother than Naruto. Naruto was just kind of annoying. Y'all think y'all, he could have turned like Itachi away no. from doing what he did? No, no, no. Hey, man, <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> That's a dope photo. I'm not gonna front. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard ass photo of X hand. What's wrong with you, bro? Matter <clears throat> she was like, that's invasive. <laughs> she weirdly looks like Gia. A little bit, yeah. Mm. Send that motion look cool. Say, hey, yo.
I really feel like they could have pulled off the flip flop somehow. You know what I'm saying? Like I know it's a stupid thing, but it's like I get it. I was like, I'm not fully focused on his feet. What is he wearing? He's wearing like slippers. He has oh, a whole yeah. axe for a hand. Use that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's not trying to destroy his door, is all. Nah, he is using it. Taking off we long. Oh, she dead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I land on Luffy, bro. What? They she landed on Luffy. Luffy. He's rubber, bro. Landed what type on Luffy. of physics? I mean, the weight of the the uh, safe, right, would get. Low key, bro. If Emily putting down dudes down in one shot like that, bro, she's stronger than Nami, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Nami, Nami can head off other people. Yo, that roundhouse is crazy. Cause. <laughs> sure, sure you can. Yeah, sure you can, this dude. There's no way you down after getting thrown down like that, bro. These guys are like. <laughs> The the putties from Power Rangers. <laughs> he gonna see them scrapping and try to. Zoro's the new Nami. That would not happen. Okay. He doing the turn back and fight thing. It seems. Oh, he came through. I mean, we all saw that coming. That was more obvious. Yo, he wearing that, bro. <laughs> he got the fit on. Pretty good Captain Morgan, man. Why do you think he ain't go double axe? <laughs> we never <laughs> asked that question. Man. He has the axe there because his How hand is missing, eat? bro. How is he going to eat, bro? <laughs> How is he going to eat? <laughs> How's he got a white first of all? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Or he just. I don't like that. They having him shot. take on all three of them? Yeah. You must be crazy. Listen, bro, they want to give Axe Hand his respect, man. Nah, bro. You don't deserve the it. The putty's got to come in. Oh, yeah! Get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. Bro. Nah, bro. They're I making this. Observation, bro. Yo, stop. Listen, I'm not mad at them. Scaling up some of these East Blue villains, but that's why. Yeah, catching somebody's <laughs> fist is crazy, yeah, yeah. especially Luffy's. Luffy. Bro, when it's Captain Morgan, even yeah, in a regular so. fight, bro. Dude, they're making that Luffy and Zoro. Yeah, I have to fight this dude. Yo, I'm not mad at that. I am. Are you <laughs> serious? You must be crazy. Yeah. Listen, bro. How would you feel? Two conquerors, bro. Who like clearly show that they're a lot stronger than the East they early in the game. Man. So stop, fashion, stop. And is Luffy not respecting Zoro's one on one? You, you're crazy. Cause the whole thing when Luffy respects when they want the one on one. What? What? Every part of his body is a weapon. <laughs> what does that even mean? I heard him. I just don't know what he means by that. Son, told you. You, you. Stop. <laughs> Stop. He got Crazy. the bandana, bro. But they're making him do it against Morgan. Listen. No, Zola put it on anyway. Yeah, I gotta be. No, Zola had it on the whole time. Yeah. He had it on the whole time, yeah. yeah. But he wouldn't need to put it on Listen. against him. Yeah, he Imagine would. he put it between his butt. Like Why? they they, they <laughs> used to say. Stop. <laughs> 
I remember the first time I saw this in the anime. I was like, yo, this looks dope, but it's dumb. Damn. It's a three sword power up, bro. <laughs> hey, man. His attack power went up like plus 30. It's crazy how much I just want to just see Zoro scrap and Luffy just stay on the side. Yo. Because, like, his fighting style is not interesting at all. Do why didn't Zoro take his life? Better he doesn't die. Anyway. They're gonna show Zoro talking. They should. That's always been the thing, right? <laughs> How does he thing. talk? With the sword as well. Mm. That's the buggy. That's funny. Come on, when you yeah. carry Luffy's cage during buggy. Yeah. So I guess Luffy not getting locked up. I don't know. They might have him do it a little bit, but. Yo, low key, somebody should just splash water on Army real quick, bro. Come <laughs> <Thank you>. on. <laughs> what's up with you, bro? Splash yeah. water. You've been on oh, I'm lonely. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. it's been a minute, <laughs> Marv. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put him up, put him up. <laughs> <laughs> but he put his hand. No, he didn't. You seen that Zoe did it to his hair? That's actually kind of funny. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> He's like, yo, can you guys do that to me next? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing Vivi went through. Told you, Kobe, honorary straw hat, oh, bro. Luffy did try to low-key recruit Kobe, but... No, you know he wanted to be a Marine. He respected him. Yeah. Still a straw hat in the Marines. I'm telling you, bro. Smoker who, bro? He planted him like... Like Dofi did Virgo. Smoker Yo. Yeah, that's funny. Dofi's like, oh, don't push me, bro. <laughs> push me harder. <laughs> yeah, weird, yo. Aim for the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be waving like that, bro. You a grown man. Garb shit. It's the black pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at garb shit. Man. Do you think we get a Jack Sparrow cameo? Who? Jack Sparrow. No. no. Yeah, they could. They could have did the Buddha, 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 bro. Yeah, they should have did the Buddha, Buddha. Oh, I might. <laughs> the beat is on point, though. I'm not kind of. Low key, imagine ancient weapon Pluton. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even get to one seven. <laughs> You're Bogart. More screen time than he got. In this That's game. not even true. <laughs> it's kind of true, bro. Get his own cover story. <laughs> Yo, these these coats are so gangster, bro. Yeah, the Marines outfit looks dope. Everybody wants this map. 
Yeah, they're making a big deal about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They might hear me Yo, whose phone is that, bro? That's always Lawrence, bro. Yo, Lawrence, just put it in your pocket, bro. I'm also watching the um, the live. Oh. Uh. Okay, buggy. <laughs> Buggy gang, bro. Buggy gang, bro. That was by far the best. I don't know. Like, I just like the buggy part. They need to show more of that. Nah, you can, do, you, can, you can cut it, Marv. Oh, man. All right, guys. So, we seen uh, the first episode of... That one, uh, the One Piece live action. Uh, we'll get into Super Chats after. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? We'll start with Law. Uh, <clears throat> so in the beginning, we had uh, a few extra stuff that we didn't have in the original, which I'm fine with, like some celebrities, but I don't like where they put in Garp, placing Garp mm -hmm. in, the, in the live action so far. And they're making him way, way too serious. Like, he's kind of the one that's running everything. And, um, like, he's basically sent Goku so far. I mean, we don't know how far they're getting it, but, like, he's running everything, and he's, like, the serious person. I don't like that because that's, that's, like, the complete opposite of Garp. Garp mm -hmm. kind of refused, you know, uh, certain levels of responsibility because he wants to be able to do whatever he wants. And also, he's very lighthearted. And also, too, um, I mean, he doesn't know. It was, like, I don't think that Luffy that stole the map yet. Yeah. But like whatever Luffy kind of did, he kind of laughed it off. He was like, that's my grandson. Kind of like with proudness because Garp kind of showed that he already knew that his grandson was going to be a big shot, like a big name, you know? And this one, it's kind of, it's they taking too much Garp out of character where I don't even see the Garp that we saw in the anime, you know? And that's one problem I have, you know? And then also the Gold Roger, he looked better he did uh, here than he did actually in the, the trailer. Um, and there's a few things I, I agree with that. But besides from everything else, though, I did like a few things. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot I didn't like. And also, too, I mentioned it earlier, I do not like how they had the Captain Morgan. If you want to make Captain Morgan stronger, I'm fine with that. That's cool. Like, you know, give him, like, a little boost. But the fact that you had Luffy and Zero have to fight him, you know, I have a complete problem with that. And because it showed that Zoro tried fighting... Um, Captain Morgan one on one, mm. right? And we all know from the beginning of this like anime, Luffy lets his his uh especially Zoro get their one on ones. But Luffy kept jumping in when Zoro legit put the blade to his head, like, hold on, I'm gonna take care of this. Like, let me do it. But Luffy kept jumping in anyway. And then the fact it showed that they kinda need to because Morgan was like apparently could take both of them off, like catching Luffy's fist, that's crazy to me. Like, cause it's not gonna make sense that you see how hard Luffy's supposed to hit throughout the entire of the anime like, or the show. But you have people at Morgan level like, nah, this is nothing to me. You know? I'm like, that's that to me, that's kind of a problem. Because then where's how is Luffy gonna be beating other people if you have someone as like first episode strength taking his fist like no problem, you know? Right now, it looked from the show looked of it, it looked like Zoro was stronger than Luffy. You know? More he's out here, Morgan's catching his fist, but then he blocks the attack from Zoro, but Zoro sets him flying. You know, so there's a few things where I have a problem there. But besides from that, they had, the, the way that they they changed up a few things, like how Zoro came into the crew and how Nami did it, it's interesting. So I don't have a problem with that. But I'm not gonna go too much on it because I don't want to be completely negative. Because there's a few things I did like, but it's the stuff that I kind of have a problem with. I don't like Garp at all. And Shanks, I'm not gonna lie. No, I thought who could have been a better Shanks? Who? Uh, he's probably a lot older now. But the guy from if they could even cast him. The guy from Phone Booth. Oh, what's his name? Colin, Colin Farrell. Could have, I think could have been... He looks good. like Colin Farrell. Well, so like, I don't also, know why you would, would, why would you go with Colin Farrell. Because remember, um, <sighs> so remember an episode of Scrubs? Remember an episode of Scrubs? Oh, he was Irish? Yeah, he was Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you saw that. You know? So, I don't know. I can kind of... But anyway. Still, I mean, I don't say it's out of the budget, but... Yeah, probably not. Spent mad bread on it. Probably not. <laughs> but... but 
Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh, what you guys got? Uh, go with Seb. Uh, I, I like the first episode. It was cool. Um, Luke, there was a lot of moments that I thought like we we reacted to that I think that's always really good. Like we're diehard One Piece fans, right? So yeah. like. The goal is to get us to react or rem- reminisce or remember stuff. When Luffy punched Alvita, we were all like, "Oh, it was, that was that was that was fire!" Like it was just it just was. Um, the Zoro <laughs> splitting Mister Seven in half. I <laughs> did not listen for One Piece to have this moniker of it. Like, yo, nobody goes in One Piece for them to aggressively attack that within the first like thirty minutes of the show. Like, I thought that was that worked. Um, they showed the Roger. Execution. I did like Roger's teeth. I agree with Lawrence a little bit about Garp. I think it's a little too serious. Um, I think the fact that they're putting him in the series so early means he's going to be a major focal point of the series, most likely. So I do. I just want to see what his meeting with Luffy is like. That's that's what I kept thinking. I was like, okay, he's talking. He has a serious tone, but what's his meeting with Luffy going to go like? Right? Because obviously, he's not going to be a Water Seven, probably. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I like the Kobe casting. I thought the casting was really good. I'm not sure about Luffy yet, bro. And I think we talked about this before. Um, it's just hard to emulate Luffy, the essence of Luffy being completely absent-minded and free. He was doing a lot of Larry brought up. He was doing a lot of talk no jutsu. Like having introspective and like heartwarming conversation. That's not really Luffy. Like Luffy's like a in the moment emotionally intelligent person when it matters. He's not like a yo, follow your dream, bro, kind of guy in the moment like that. He'll yell it at you, right? But he's not going to be, like, having those deep thoughts or conversations with you. So I thought that was a little weird. But, again, I'm fine with them taking liberties. I think even the liberties that they did take, I didn't have a problem with Axan Morgan being elevated to be stronger. It was weird to see it go down the way it went down. I will say that. But I I, I want, because I don't know if y'all remember, Luffy was cakewalking through East Blue. Yeah. If that's what we're, like, can you expect the, the average watcher to like care about the show when the stakes are so low that the main character just walks through everybody no problem like that. Like I don't see that. So yeah. I don't have a problem with them pushing or, or making people stronger than they should be. Um it was weird to see Luffy and, and like they were they were like low-key three V one in him at one point. <laughs> yeah. Um that was kinda wild to see. Um but the pacing was pretty good. I liked the Kobe stuff. Mm-hmm. I thought the Hel- Helmepo stuff was, was funny. Yeah, that was uh, funny. <laughs> it was weird to <laughs> see that, but you know. whatever. Um, Zoro was good. I think as, I'm trying to think who the best like casting was. I thought Captain Morgan was good. Um, Zoro was dope. I thought the fight scenes looked better than they did when we in first the saw them in the trailer. Yeah. Um, but overall, I think pretty pretty good episode. I, I, I'm still iffy on Luffy though. Yeah. That's one of my bigger. I don't know. All right, Lionel. Again, I'm not trying to be like I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Just say what you feel, bro. It's um, okay. The casting, I'm still getting used to. I'm not like I'm not feeling anybody yet. I'm. St- I'm just going to let it. Like I have to see like more. Like you know, I can't just go off my one. Like you know, one take on the casting. Um, me, I, me personally though, I like if you're going to do something, try to be as accurate as possible. And again, I do like the little add-ons with the whole Zolo meeting Mister Seven, which we got. And the manga by Zolo's wording, but we'd actually see the scene. Mm-hmm. But I don't like now again what you said. Best understand, but I do not like that they had Zolo, Nami, and Luffy fight Mister Mor- uh, Mister Axehand Morgan. Axehand Morgan's like when we know what really happened that Luffy clearly showed that he was like stronger. We, I had the same thing with, um, with the main with the anime. I don't like when Luffy's supposed to be a certain strength and you're making him weaker. I don't care what it is. Like, any anime or any manga, whatever. If Luffy's supposed to be a certain strength, and you show me that, because, again, they're supposed to make good. Because Luffy's supposed to be a certain strength already. He's already weak pre time scale with Ace. Why are you making him even weaker in, in the action, live action? Like, like I had the same power with post time scale, when Luffy trained for two years. Yet he's struggling off people that he clearly, like, pretty much one shot, like, Hordy. Like, Hody was clearly no match for Luffy, but in the anime, Luffy was doing multiple shots on Hody when it took him one time to do something. Like Red Hawk, one time Red Hawk in the manga, the fight was pretty much over. Then he took off um, the um, Noah with the Gatling. Mm-hmm. Yet in the anime, they had Luffy do it at least three to four times, and he was still going up. Like stuff like that, I hate. Like if you're gonna, oh, I'm gonna do a live action, you're gonna make the anime, whatever, do it as accurate as possible. That's my thing. If you're gonna add certain stuff, great. Like again, that whole Zolo thing, but like 
to me, that's just me. Again, I I have the same thing with with Batman. Like, if you knew certain Batman, make who Batman is in the comic books, in the manga. Don't add or oh, change her things, making him look, oh, he's not a detective here, but he's a, he's a karate person here. Like, it's like, yo, what, what are we doing? Is he Batman or not? Is he, is he Luffy or not? Is it One Piece or not? Yeah. Make it One Piece. That's my thing. That's what I'm going to say. Like, it's, I'm still giving it time. I'm saying it. You said it. Too, but, like, bro, like, I, I just, it just, it bugs me. It runs me the wrong way. And, like, I can't, bro. Like, I can't. <laughs> Like, well, I don't over the heat it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I get I, all the time when I see certain people doing certain things. Like, if you're going to do an adoption of it and you're changing so much, it's like, then what was the point of the adoption? I might just stick to the manga and anime adaptation. at this point. Yeah. Adaptation. So, like, I might just stick to the anime and um, manga and just, all right, whatever. You guys made that cool. No! Like, <laughs> like, like, no! <laughs> uh, anything else? But again, oh, the, 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 I do agree, though. The fight scenes have gotten better. I do acknowledge that. Um, the casting, again, it was. I'm still working on it. I just get, I got to see more of the acting, too. Um, but in which I think Nami was okay. Zola was like, I'm seeing how serious he's going to be throughout the thing. Um, I thought we, thought we could have got Blue more, because I thought we might have seen Doflamingo. Mm-hmm. Like, because you saw Mihawk, you showed Shanks. Like, Crocodile, Doflamingo, and Buggy were there, too. We didn't see them. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, so I'm like, oh, we might have seen Crocodile. <laughs> yo, if he's that chick, hey, yo, man. bro. Stop. Yo, hey, you man. Stop. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yo, hey, man. yo if I remember it. correctly, <laughs> I don't know. Where yeah, he was showed at. His face. They showed it from the back. Yeah, yeah they showed it from the back. But he was there. He was. Hey, and man. like the whole Von Kahl situation. I'm going to have to watch for the Easter eggs because there might be more. So, <laughs> people are saying we miss Cavendish's like a. Uh, um, yeah, wanted I, poster. I think I saw it. I didn't yeah. see it. I, but it's yeah. like it's so like you just focus on his face. You don't see his wanted poster. Is it Hakuba mountain. or is it him? It's him. You just okay. see him smiling, and you barely see his hat either. It's like you mm. see most of his face and barely his hat, but it's cut. Like mm. like it's cut. You don't see like an actual wanted thing there, but it was there though. I saw it. Okay, Larry. Um. Yo, my favorite <laughs> part was literally the Kobe BDSM thing. <laughs> My favorite part of the episode was some gag I created. It was so (laughs) funny to me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Yo, it literally makes me think completely different about Kobe. (laughs) I care what you wrote. That was like my favorite part. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, So, I'm not. I'll say a couple good things, and I'll say a couple of things that I. I didn't enjoy too much. Um, the good things about it, I think this is one of the shows that is very similar to a movie like Ready Player One. So if you guys ever watch Ready Player One, it's basically a guy who creates a virtual reality game and basically it just has so many Easter eggs towards video games overall that you have to watch it multiple times in order to see it everything, right? So it proves that this show just has a ton of Easter eggs that we just didn't see or just couldn't realize because we watched it once on this TV. So we would have to watch it again. Mm -hmm. I love that. I think anytime you put something in something, anytime you make something and I have to revisit it in order to see it again and be like, oh, I didn't see that the first time. It makes like it better for me. It even happens in music. Where like you hear a song and you're just bopping to the beat and then you hear this guy say like some dope bar and you didn't hear it for like two years and you're like yo he said that <laughs> yo this song makes is even better now I feel like that's what's happening for me so I'm gonna watch it again um I I thought the Mr. Seven part was super clean yo it was, I, that it's was funny because you had problems with it, it I had, had problems because I I thought he was supposed to connect with the guy mm-hmm. but he just hit the swords of the guy and knocked him back so mm-hmm. that was cool was he visiting Queen's grave for a second I, I wasn't too sure yeah, about it sure, yeah. but if so that's an Easter egg um I think the swords looked amazing um. I thought I thought everything aesthetically was pleasing. I thought everybody looked phenomenal. Yo, the, I'm not gonna lie. The Gart thing threw me off for a second because he was like Scottish. Like he, yeah, I don't know what that was. About. Yeah. I was like, yo, I, I get the diversity, but like, if rumors are true about who Dragon is, 
then I don't even know how that's Garp's son, and that would add fuel to the fire for people being like, yo, yeah. maybe Garp's son is actually not his true son. They're gonna show it's Dragon his daughter. That he's casted. From, oh, okay. I've seen him. He's like, uh, he's Indian. Mm. So just they're not making sense with family. <laughs> family hey man, trees. I mean, hey, man. listen, Cause, man. Cause, I mean, because the person who's playing Luffy, I believe he's Mexican. Yeah. I mean, Luffy's I, supposed to be Brazilian. You have a Mexican listen, cast. Listen, listen. I, I'm not gonna tie myself up into that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but I, I, I will say this though. I think the liberties that they did take, it panned out, but only for one reason. It's very similar to what happened with Game of Thrones Season 8. They only had six episodes, and they had all this information that they needed to push into one season of six episodes. And it turned the fan base into kind of like a... uh, They were like, yo, things feel rushed. So we're not going to sit with like Daenerys's... uh, Turning mad, and, turning yeah. mad, and stuff like that because we just don't have the time. I can't sit with these characters in their pain and figure out who they are. I can't attach myself to them. I think because we're looking at this One Piece live action in eight episodes, and we're going through arcs where there's like ten episodes per arc. You know what I'm saying? We're not really sitting down, and we're not going to get the accuracies of the manga. And it's very unfortunate that that's going to happen because. I think that's what everybody's feeling. I think that's what you're feeling and that's what you're feeling. It's not because they purposely made them 3v1 Morgan and had to like power scale him up. I think it's because they're like, yo, we have such little screen time in order to make all these things happen. And granted, I got to just push this in. So we're always going to get these like little moments where like you're like, yo, this doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, it's like, yo, I have to make Garp in that. I have to put Garp in that position of Sengoku. Why? Because he's going to have some tie into Luffy. And also, we don't have that much time to just go out and do these adventures. We have to insert these characters into that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, I, I got to just deal with that. And I think that's what people are going to realize. Like, that's what just has to happen. Yeah, there's, so, no, way to, there's no way to interpolate a thousand chapters. Yeah. Like they, as accurately as y'all want it right now, like even even the Axe Morgan thing, that was like a two. If you go by what happened, that episode is like twelve minutes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just that's it. That's all that would happen. Yo, go get my swords. I do the thing. I block. They shoot me. It reflects. Mm-hmm. Morgan's gets taken out, and it's like, yo, bro. We even we even see Morgan's get taken out for real in the in the manga. Yeah. And like, and, how are you gonna show that in a live action where you're trying? It's the first episode you're trying to get people into it, mm-hmm. and like the big bad of the episode is off screen, basically. Yeah, and I think that that that's really wow. what we're ingesting is that you we we can't expect everything that they're pursuing. May I, I personally think that they're biting off more than they could chew. Like, I think ultimately, if you want to have a successful season. You can have a successful season without diving too deep into these arcs. And then it can last for like another five seasons. Because there's just that much content to pull from. Is that a mistake on their end? We don't know yet. But I could sort of see this being like a Game of Thrones type of show. Right? Like I could. Like I could see them (laughs) detailing and going in as far as they want to. But again, they only have eight episodes. So... We're going to have to be a little lenient when we're watching this and being like, yo, that's that's just going to have to happen. I think season two going to need to be 13 episodes if they want to do it like as they, well as they can. Bro, they they might have to go at least 17, in my opinion. I think 13 is a good number, bro. There's not too many episodes. Yeah. You know? I mean. That's me. But to me, I, 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 I know that the castings, you guys, I mean... I'm not completely sold on Shanks. Luffy, I'm still getting used to. I agree. Like, I'm not I'm not built up on Luffy right now. He's supposed to be, like, that guy that you're supposed to attach to. But he, I, honestly, I found myself wanting to just watch Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Kobe to be on screen. And I wanted Zoro to be on screen. Because I just felt like I had the most fun watching it when they were on screen. That's really it. And shout out to Alvito, bro. 
Yo, oh, by the way, uh, I asked the chat, is Kobe into BDSM? Yes, clearly. Hashtag with chestnut. <laughs> it's, it's up 56% with voting. So. But um, what else can I say? I think I really liked the scene with Roger. I really yeah, did. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I thought did. that scene was probably the best scene. Best scene? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was the best scene in the, 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 sh- the episode to me. I don't know. It just had everything. It had everything I wanted, and it was done correctly, in my opinion. Except Garp was there, but besides that. Because yeah, cause I'm also factoring later. Because I understand what you guys are meeting. Uh, meeting like, I, like I'm fine with the way they did it where uh, they're all looking for the map and how they saw uh, Zoro fight in the bar. And I was like, I'm fine with all that, how they did it differently. My problem is, is like, what's so much supposed to mean later on? You know how Oda sets up things? Mm. Like, for example... Spoilers for people who don't know, but you know the whole Garp and Rogers relationship. Mm. Yeah, do you see that in the beginning there? That, there, now there was a make pause. There was a linger and a pause. He was like, "I told you" or whatever. Yo. There was that, but it didn't emulate their actual exactly. relationship. Exactly, yeah. that's what I mean. That we know of. But again, but the thing is, is what does different? that even mean, though? Like I Garp know. saying, "I, I told you," and you're now you're pretty much dealing with it, like. We didn't know if Garb and Roger even had that type of relationship like that. Mm-hmm. Like, we didn't know when the first time they met, if they were friends, and he told him never become a Marine or don't become a pirate because you're going to end up dying. Like, he, we know he told it to Ace and Luffy, but we don't know he ever had that relationship with, with Roger. So that's something like, what does him saying that really mean? We all find out, I guess. Like, it's just, my only thing is, like, I understand, like, cramming certain things. At this point, I just don't like the way certain things were done. You know, yeah. and how they did because there's different ways you could have done it. Yeah, they chose this way with um, with Garp and the Morgan thing. Because I'm fine again. I'm fine with making Morgan stronger, but the whole thing is like part of Luffy's, Luffy's character. Because if that goes on to later on, uh, Luffy lets people, his crew especially, when they feel passionate about something, achieve their dream or do that. You know, mm. and then you have him jumping in with the fight where it's not needed. You know, it doesn't. It's not seem like you're gonna. He's gonna build up that. With the whole thing that they trust Luffy and the crew. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yo, so I many, think I gotta see more. So many people are gonna hate us, bro. <laughs> they really are. They're gonna be like, yo, these guys are never happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was good. They don't know what they're did, talking did, about. Did y'all give ratings? I don't think we did ratings. No, we didn't do ratings, but it's just the fact that like the mm-hmm. combo that we're having yeah. Yeah. is very much different from I'm pretty sure what everybody else is having. Yeah. You know what I'm it. saying? I haven't watched any reaction videos because I don't want to be spoiled too much. I don't want to be spoiled either, yeah. but I I just hear the grand reception that it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really it. But for me, so far, uh, I'll go first in rating. One out of ten for this episode, just judging this episode. I'm not saying the rest of the series for right. everybody. We're not doing that. We're saying this episode from what we watched. Oh, man. I usually go last, too, which is funny. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, I'm gonna go with like, man. I don't want this to sound too harsh. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna go with like a four, mm. like a four point three. Um, yeah. I'm gonna just go with that four point three. Uh, that's that's my take on that episode. Um, I enjoy what I saw. I go with a solid six five. I, I'll even go seven. I'll go seven. I'll even go seven. All right. Yeah. I, I, was, I thought it paced itself well. It was cool. Lana? I'm probably going to go with Larry because, like, I do, I do agree with the pacing, but, like, we, like, the casting with, like, Ben Beckham and stuff like that and, like, and other problems I have. Like, the show could do good, and, again, I want it to do good. And overall, like, I have my own personal problems with it, but, like, the show could still be good and fine without my opinions because who cares? Um, I'm, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go with Larry, four point three, because like overall it did look good compared to the trailers I saw. I thought it was gonna be worse, but mm-hmm. it was actually a lot better than when I saw you saw the episode. Just my personal views on certain things. That's just me. So I'm gonna go four point three or a five at least. Yeah. No, no, I was actually gonna choose a four before you said it. So wow. like I, I'm agree with you. All right, and yeah, and I will say this is with me also. I have to watch it again. You know, and that could change um, from me watching it again, like some things I missed or didn't appreciate for the first time. But as right here, I'm not saying I'm not happy with it. It's just like 
again, I understand they went different routes for certain things, and I'm fine with that. You know, mm-hmm. like I don't have too much of a problem with Luffy. You know, it's like sure, I've got to get used to it, but it's not like I don't. I dislike Luffy. Uh, how they're doing it? It's like, uh, like I said, he's making it his own. Like I talked about previous episodes in the past. You know, um, I'm fine with Nami. I'm fine with Zoro. Um, Captain Morgan was fine. Just my my main thing was like the whole Garp thing was especially what bothers me. Mm. And Roger looked better uh, than on his episode than the trailer. And just that thing of what they're playing into, like their strengths. Mm-hmm. Like on, it's just I think it's misrepresented. That's that's the word I'll use for with the Morgan thing. Yeah, I might have to drop the six point five. I forgot about that Ben Beckman casting, but I was uh, that was real bad. <laughs> Yeah, so um, devil fruit looked bad too. too. Yeah. It should have just made it out of cake. <laughs> it might have been cake. It might have been cake, but it looked like a toy. <laughs> it did look like <laughs> a toy. <laughs> well, we'll see. Uh, this is the thing too, like, because I'm usually the one that deals with like all the things that comes at us, right? And it never touches y'all. And like, I know people are gonna be upset with us for just rating it as low as they are because of the fact that. <laughs> Because of the fact that they, this is something that they love, they, this is something that they want to succeed. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, like we're we're people that are also fans, and we also are basically scholars of this, right? Like we know this a lot more than other people, and it's like what we feel about this is not for us to be negative. Like we're not trying to be negative. That's not the goal. Like our goal is not to crap on One Piece at mm-hmm. all. Our goal is to enjoy it. But overall. The goal is also to see what we expect, right? And our expectations are high because it's something we love. And obviously, if the first episode wasn't that great for us, I don't think you should condemn us. You shouldn't be like, yo, these guys don't know anything that they're talking about or they're never happy. Just be like, yo, they 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 made points. I don't agree with it. And I think that's okay. Yeah. You, you don't have to enjoy it. Like, they gave their reasons. And I think ultimately if this, if the first episode is like anything what we're supposed to expect for the next couple episodes, probably won't be a good season for us. But I also give it the the, the generosity of saying this is only eight episodes, bro. Like eight episodes is going to give you this type of content. Right. Like you can't expect, like this is what I'm saying, like I'm enjoying it, but I'm saying overall it's not hitting the way I want it to hit. Mm-hmm. Right now, and this is just episode one, so we got seven more to go. We'll give our ratings, and we'll see where it goes from there. But overall, don't 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 be fart bags, bro. <laughs> That's it. Like we're not being negative. We're just being like fans. Yeah, and we still gonna watch it. So and we're yeah. being real. Like how many other? This is the thing too. How many other people that make One Piece content or anime content are actually real about their opinions? Mm-hmm. Or are they trying to trick you so you could watch their video or generate some type of like response from you or faking their appreciation or faking their love? A lot of content creators do that. The fact that we don't and people be like, yo, I hate this. Like, come on, <laughs> bro. Like, like you got to understand what's real and what's like what's not real. And I think that that's when you get like the purest form of content creation from us Mm -hmm. like you get to this is the reason why you watch us is because we're straight up like we tell you what's real yeah Mm -hmm. i I think it was pretty good my only my only fear really is like if it's gonna get new people into one piece and then they watch one piece it's just like oh this is this this isn't what happened (laughs) (laughs) that's what you're gonna get but But, hey that'll be good too it'll give people this there's, there's a distinct difference between this and that i think that works it can work it can work yeah it also bothered me that he, um, Kobe didn't say he wanted to be a Marine Admiral, too. But that was, that's just me. Because like, that was his dream to be not just be a Marine, just to be a Marine Admiral as well. Like, that's a high... Whoa, like, whoa, he didn't say the Admiral thing until later. No, I'm pretty sure he told Luffy straight up that he wants to be a Marine Admiral. Nah, that came at, and he's at uh, Water 7. The Admiral part of the dream. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he was, like, sweating over Look it. at Lionel over here, critiquing... Are you sure? Yeah. I want to go back and find out. Mr. One Piece purist over there. Oh, purist. No, nah, I want to find out. Yo, if you're wrong, I, I'll let you If know. I'm wrong, what? I should meet you outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you outside. <laughs> but no, yeah, the Admiral okay. Park came after. Yeah? It came in okay. at Water 7. All right. So uh, 
Let's get through these super chats really quick. Yeah. I know there's a couple, and then we're gonna do the manga chapter, guys. But thank you for sitting with us for yeah. this uh, episode one reaction. I look forward to the next couple episodes. Right. We did get five dollars from Maud Frahud. It says, "I have to say, I enjoyed the live action One Piece. It tried so hard to stay true to the designs while making their own story. Yeah, some of the the the, the visuals were pretty good yeah. for me as far as the set pieces and things." Um, we got another two from Kayshawn Snow. It says, yo, love you guys. Glad I got to catch a live. Glad you could stop by, man. Yeah, thank you. We got another five from Monkey D.I.B. It says, did y'all notice a suspected female crocodile at Roger's execution <laughs> standing in front of Shanks? Larry did. Larry did. I saw her. She was looking right, too. No, I'm playing. Um, maybe it's looking right. <laughs> <laughs> we got another two from JT. It says, hey, Lawrence, Seb, stop biting your lip. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's up, JT? What's going on? Oh, Why did you notice that? I don't know. <laughs> We got another 20 from Regal Sloth that says, I thought Broker's last theory was great. It should be the Fenrir fruit. But I think I I think it should go to Usopp's Kabuto. And it should have Loki-based abilities. Loki is Fenrir's father, and a trickster is the greatest kind of liar. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but Broker called in with an awesome Usopp theory for Elbaf in which um, he picks up the hammer and the hammer gets the fruit or whatever it was exactly. Or uh, it has a devil fruit already and it believes the Usopp's lies because he's boasting. Um, and it gives him basically a huge power up. So I think that'd be cool. Good yeah. cool. We got another two from JT. It says, heard that Law doesn't like his fans. What's up, Lionel? <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not true. Oh, JT was no, going on. I love my fan. Well, I love my Nakama. Because you guys are my Nakama. I don't fan. <laughs> because that is not uh, learn to love your kids first. Hey, uh, right, right. right, bro. I, I'm first of all, I don't have any kids. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not a dad. Step father law. So I guess it's first the hashtag things. Yeah. I just don't think I should have. A cult. That's Renakama. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not like your leader or anything. Like, you know, you get what I'm saying? That's what a leader would say. <laughs> <laughs> what is your leader? Stop. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we did get another five from Victor Hate. It says, depending on how hands on Oda was, the opening confirms so many theories with Roger and Garb's conversation, making me know what the treasure really is. I mean, does it? You want to continue? <laughs> no, I'm, I was asking y'all. Yeah, did, did, is that true? Wait, like, did, did I, I don't. I think we all had a. It was vague to us. Yeah, it's. I didn't vague. get any answers from that. Maybe I gotta watch it again. Uh, we got another five from Key. It says valid criticisms, uh, for sure. It should get a lot better though. Just wait. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We got another two from Ryunosuke. It says this three-hour special is hype, guys. Like the stream. Thank you, Ryunosuke. Yes. Like the stream you. if you guys haven't already. And we got another five from Ayat. It says, I'm watching it with my girlfriend, and over and over, I'm like, that didn't happen in the anime slash manga. <laughs> Overall, I like the live action for what they can do. Okay. Right. okay. I appreciate that. Right. I appreciate yeah. that. They can do. That's true. Yeah. All right. Now let's get into the chapter, guys. Yep. Yeah. So we have a new color spread, and uh, it's interesting, I would say. What did you guys think about it? And we'll start with Seb. That was cool. Um, I like pizza. So I'm a Jersey boy. I like seeing pizza yeah. on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed two straw hats was missing. Yeah. So. Hey, what, hey was doing the nasty. Hey, what, what, Rob, what Robin and Frank were doing? <laughs> 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 you feel me? That's like when you, when you get you, you, got, you got your kids, right? Listen, and then you got to get them a pizza. What are mom and dad doing? To distract them from what y'all about to go do. Because y'all about to go make some pies. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Jimbe yeah. knows. That's why he he laughing. Jimbe like I Sanji don't know. I smell that. <laughs> That's why he he confused. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. No, I get it, bro. Brooke blushing. He know. You done? I'm done. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you're both done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all be wild. You be wild. Yeah, yeah. The whole Where time. Where they at, bro? From the beginning yeah. of the Yo, y'all trying to wild. tell me that Robin and Frankie not being on screen isn't so One, he's a cyborg. So? so? Can, can, can he even get... I'm not even talking. Turn the vibration <laughs> on. <laughs> 
<laughs> that just be Robin about to enjoy herself. Yeah, bro. Lionel? See, now you got to be all messed up. Um, I, th- <laughs> I thought it was dope. The mean pizza. The piece too soft, though, but no, I'm joking. No, it was dope. It was cool. I really have nothing. All right, law. They don't know how to eat pizza. They all eat a crust. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Yeah. They all eat a crust first. With, I with was like, forks <laughs> and knives, bro. Like, what kind of crazy? That's, that's wild. Like, that's, we, that I'm is that how you did eat the pizza. mice cut the pizza already, or he was trying to do it? Where they got ratatouille <laughs> over here. <laughs> ratatouille just running on the pizza. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's <laughs> just funny. I like pizza. They they made it way too like. Doughy and the cheese is all over the place, and they eating it backwards. And you got rats running on it. Sanji wildin', bro. You have a bunch of animals just digging in that food, which is crazy. <laughs> like you have a bird, you have two birds and a rat, or a mouse, whatever. But and then you know Sanji is okay with like that. But anyway, yeah, I got nothing. It's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, if if you take like Zoro out and everybody else out and just leave like. Luffy and Nami. <laughs> Some of that dog scene. Come on, bro. <laughs> they, oh, the way she, the way she, she looking, bro. You're bro. Wildin', bro. bro. She, oh, wow. You were there. Wild. See, I was thinking, can you throw the fairy tale <laughs> sound bites? <laughs> Stop. Man, I saw the lady wildin', in the trap bro. scene, and you saw, you went like. Completely opposite. Listen, bro. The bro. way they, the way it looks, man. Fan bus crazy. But let's continue on. <laughs> I can't. Um. All right. The chapter opens up with the title, and it's labeled Sentumaru. The Marines are gearing up to invade Egghead. Kazaro's already in the field. The Mark III pacifista is ready up too. The Marines fire upon them, and the Sea Beasts attack their ships. Vice Admirals jump into action, especially Don, uh, Doll's fine self. We go to the Labo phase, and Usopp witnesses the war outside of the dome. Vegapunk says the defenses they have is literally not penetrable. Uh, Oda then gives us a pacifista hierarchy of command, starting with the Gorosei, then the Vegapunks, then Sentumaru, and then finally an authority chip for whoever, whoever holds it. Usopp, Brook, and Nami recall their troubles with Gizaro as Sabaody Archipelago, and Vegapunk is heartbroken that Sentumaru has to fight Kazaru. What did you guys think of this part of the chapter? Then we'll start with Law. Uh... I honestly didn't think much about this. Just the war just started. You have, um, well, I guess we're going to find out more, too, because with these pacifistas, they're clearly different from the other pacifistas we saw. Like, um, wait, no, th- I keep thinking those are the, um, that's just the movie stuff. Because we haven't seen cause the upgraded ones since um, uh, Marine Ford War. Right? I keep mistaking them for the white ones, but that was, like, just the movie. But anyway, yeah, um... Yeah, uh, we're just gonna see, I guess, what the vice admirals could do more. I hope they do not just here, just fighting them. I hope they actually see them against the straw hats, because you already know me how I view against the, the vice admirals. I don't really, I don't give them much credit, because I don't see much from them. They usually kind of used to build up other characters, and they kind of use kind of not really like fodder, but they're always used to scale other people. So uh, hopefully we see more from them here, but I don't really expect much from them, especially when you have, you know. Who else is here? You know, like with um, Kaku or uh, Rob and uh, Kazaro, and it's the same. We saw the same with the Pacifistas. The hierarchy is the same as what we see for the, the um, you know, the Seraphim. So uh, nothing much here, really. For All right, me. Seb. Uh, as always, it's always good to see my girl Doll, man. Always, I love Doll. She got is she long leg draw? The yeah, them legs a, looking long to she's me. She's a long leg tribe. Nah. Looking long to me. I don't know. Maybe those, I'm tripping. Yeah, this is. No uh, I did like the double, like the color, like the double spread um, with the vice admirals and, the, and like I like naval battles. Like we don't see it enough. Like we're seeing these ships or, or these these uh, sea beasts that Vegapunk created actually attack ships, and this thing cleared uh, a warship. I thought that looked great. Um, I did just like that they're having this battle outside. Yeah. Like, we're not actually in that battle. Like, obviously, we're more focused on what's going to happen on the inside of the dome. But, like, the fact that the battle's happening on the outside is cool to me. Um, and, yeah, anytime Vice Harms gets some sort of love, some sort of shine, doing something positive, I think it's cool. Um, we've seen this hierarchy thing a few times. So, I don't think we needed to see that again. Uh, but it has been a while since we've been on Egghead, so I guess it's time for Order to revisit that. Um, it, I like that they're watching it, though. 
<laughs> you know, like they're straight up watching this battle take place outside. Like, oh snap, they fight. <laughs> like that's crazy. Like it's just live TV. It reminded me of a uh, the chair thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery in Alabama. But uh, I also liked that they brought up the memories of Sabote. Yeah. Because we every every single person that's covered One Piece in the Egghead has referenced Sabote. The characters are all the same. The, the stakes are kind of similar, et cetera. Like, we're dealing with the same theme of a storyline. Mm-hmm. And, like, for the, the actual characters themselves to start identifying is cool. And Vegapunk having that regret. Like, yo, I have these two people who are friends fight, and it's my fault. Like, I like that it humanizes Vegapunk a little bit, even though he's still a monster. But, yeah. Depends on your perspective. <clears throat> Lionel? I'm joking. <laughs> um... I thought it was good. I thought I get with Sebastian the Navy battle was always cool to me. I thought it was a really dope scene. Like it looks crazy with the monsters. Um, the Sea Beast monsters are attacking the ships and one's almost eating one completely. And it's like it kind of reminds me of many of a the Marine Ford War, like a mini clip of it, but not fully. I think it was an inter- Um, this might be a shout out to. I don't think it is, but the Steam Knuckle made me think of Z. I don't know if it's the same mechanic. I know, I thought the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. I thought, but I don't know if it's the same because he said steam knuckle, so I think it might be something with steam maybe. I think just the arm yeah. mm. prosthetic is yeah. what makes me think that. But his neck, though, was crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, that's because he has triple oh, Hey, <laughs> yo. See, what? I, I, I ain't just that. hear that, bro. <laughs> He's like double. All right, whatever. I'm it's not going to go into your pacing. All right? Yeah, crazy. Um... I thought I thought it was actually kind of interesting this time. Like losing these straw hats, are Lucy in the battle, and people are watching them go crazy, and them like you know with Wano and um and Marine Ford War with the uh, like you know with somebody watching the Marine Ford War action and other stuff. This is like the first time where the straw hats are watching a battle themselves, where they're not in it, you know, and seeing how it's going down and winning them. Actually, the battles actually coming to them. So I thought that was actually a, a nice flip on the on another side. Um, but yeah, I don't really have that much. Just again, same with everybody else. Want to see more of the Vice Admirals? They don't get that much um, good, um, like a good vibe with us because like you always power skating, like one said, upskating other people, like with Sabo and Whitebeard, and some of them are like it's understandable. Like what Vice Admiral besides Garp is going to be on the same level as a Yonko? But like, but we, the fact that they they are the um, one step down of a of an Admiral. I expect more for them, at least. So I'm hoping we get to see that from these nine vice animals that are here to play. All right. Um, I think it, I think it was just cool to see the sea beasts go crazy. I was like, dang. I was like, yo, they really just eating ships yeah. and destroying. I was like, yo, how much? How many ships did they destroy before they, you know, whatever happened? It's good to see the vice admiral stunt, though, man. Like you said, we don't really get to see them show face and have good face right like we're always very susceptible uh of saying um you know vice admirals don't go hard right <laughs> like that's like our thing like vice admirals are like shichibukai right like there's like the mihawk and then you got like the gecko moria yeah that's like vice admirals but a little bit worse on the vice admirals because there's some that are just really bad <laughs> right uh but i love seeing uh doll specifically uh definitely long leg tribe uh, messed with it. I love the designs of the CBs. We got a, we got to see a couple of them. Like we got to see like a bullhorn one, uh, which bullhorn. Like, and then we got to see like a mouse with the the nose. Yeah. Um. Uh, listen, Doll ended up kicking one in the face, and it looked like it really hurt. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, hierarchy chart. Don't understand it. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um. I think. Right now, Oda's just playing with whatever the plot needs, it's going to happen. Seraphim didn't kind of make sense and what happened there, and I think the same thing is happening now. So I'm not really paying attention to it too much. But, yeah, it was all right. All right, let's go next. So next, we see Kazaro kicking Sentumaru and sends him flying. Kazaro tells him to surrender, then showers him with light bullets. Sentumaru avoids the barrage by running away and grabbing his axe. Then Sentumaru gepos, uh, gepos towards Kazaru and takes a swing, but Kazaru manipulates his body to avoid the slash. Kazaru can't believe he's sided with pirates. Sentumaru says he'll side with whoever for the man who saved his life. Then we go to a flashback of Vegapunk, Kazaru, and Sentumaru. They're all super young, and it shows Sentumaru being strong for his age by taking out bears. 
So Vegapunk hires him as a bodyguard. Kazaro says he taught Sentomaru everything he knows. Then Sentomaru lands a blow on him, knocking his head back. Kazaro then states his defense is just as good as his and kicks Sentomaru down, essentially eliminating him. Kazaro then uses Sentomaru's authority and calls off the Mark Threes and the CBs. What did you guys think about this? And we'll start with Lionel. Um, honestly, I got um, pretty much. I know we bung up with the Sentomaru blocking um, Kazaro's attack and stuff, and now we're seeing him like it looks like they're actually having a battle. Battle, but you can tell that like, it's clearly one sided. But I also believe that obviously Kazaro was holding back in this fight. It kind of, I mean, it's not the same. It's not. But I got a little bit of Luffy and Garp vibes. Like, because I was kind of holding back. Cause, again, like, he has to do, he has a job to do, but he's also conflicted on Sentamaro's his boy. And he doesn't want to do it, but Sentamaro was like, I mean, because I was like, I got to carry this out anyway. And, like, you can tell, like, this reminiscing, like, during their fight, he's just reminiscing when he first time he met Sentamaro. And him doing that, Sentamaro even it was able to rock his owl. Even because I ate it. Like, he'd even flinch. Like, he bled a little bit, but right after, he said pretty much, you know, your defense, I can do it too. And he just takes out Sentamaro. And uh, it was cool seeing um, Sentamaro's um, flashback uh, a little bit. I know they mentioned it a while back about Sentamaro taking out bears. And I think that's like another reference about young people taking out bears. <coughs> Odin, Big Mom, and now Sentamaro. I just thought that was kind of interesting. But um, again, just dope. The thing was kind of dope and cool seeing them. See, I see seeing young Kazaro. I don't know. They don't tell us how old bit this is. Um, maybe I could try to go back and try to see, like, find the, how old. Kazao and Sentamaru are, but I mean, it was a, I think it was a dope scene, like seeing this and like showing like, at like the, how much the Marines are conflicted with certain orders. Like, while well, you have the like, world government who are not conflicted at all, but you always see the Marines. They're always they feel it in their chest when they have to do an order. They still do it, but cause you see the um, vice versa, like how the government handles things. They don't care. They just like it's whatever. The only one who showed that he wasn't conflicted with that honestly was Akainu. Um, to my knowledge, I don't think he showed that he even cared about any of the or Marine orders that he got. That like he was just done to do it. Well, Aokiji and Kizaru. Like in this, you could also think of, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Sal with Aokiji. Mm -hmm. Oh, Saul? Saul. Like Aokiji, like him, them doing an order and they're kind of conflicted, but they're still doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Knowing that they, it kind of bothers them at the same time. But but Kizaru is more of an animal than obviously um, than Aokiji is. He's not, I don't think he's on a kind of level. I don't know. He could be. Maybe sitting out late. Maybe they're two sides of the same coin. But Aokiji shows that he was different compared to both of them. Yeah, um, that's what I got from this. All right. Uh, Law? No, I actually did like the little um, skirmish between uh, Satomaru and Kaz um, Kazaru. And honestly, I, just, I noticed it later on. But it just hit me about Kazaru. I think he's the hitman admiral. Right, and one of the reasons is because you already know he he's very he has his very Italian ma mafia mob with him. That's, that's racist. Yeah, that's racist. <laughs> no, he does though. <laughs> oh, oh, that yeah, no. Racist, no, no, wow, bro. Yeah, look, bro. Jesus, bro. It's not We're going there. It's, uh, no, Jeez. it's not racist because if you if you look at him, even like old um, how Kazaro looked old timey, right? Back when um when he dealt with Arlo, right? If you look at Kazaro, what he was wearing, he looks like a mafia hitman. Like, he has the hat, he has the gloves, he has the suit, and he has the coat. Golden, right? And I noticed that, the reason why I also say this, right? Have you noticed is that they're always, the one that they sent out to go handle this stuff is usually Kazaro. Sister Dragon gets punched. Who gets sent out? Kazaro, right? Now they have this situation here. Again, they're sending out Kazaro. And so Kazaro even could, um, was like, yo, you want me, you want to go send me? You want me to go out when it was, a, when Anwano with Kaido, Big Mom there, should I go? You know, and then I'll go so again again with the um, uh, with the uh, Arlong thing and the fisherman parts, Kazaro. He's always, and then this situation here about back with uh, Sentinel with the bears. Who gets sent there? Kazaro, right? So with that mafia, also look, and also the reason why a few things, Lionel. I'm actually going back because you said that Alkiji, right, felt uh, remorse because he was taking on a comrade. Kazaro, he shows his own, but it didn't really hit him the way Alkiji did. He, like, played to it because if you look at him, he kind of deals with Gazaro like this. I mean, he deals with uh, Central Marvel like this and kind of just moves on, right? There was no really looking down like, oh, that was a friend, right? Because even, like, there was one translation, I was reading it, right, where I, never mind, I, that's a head, I can't go jump that far. But, yeah, 
the guy, he, the way he kind of deals with it, and then he kind of just moves on, and how he just dealt with him, like, cutthroat. Like, yeah, he laughed about it, because that's Zaro's, like, kind of, like, personality. When Ben Beckham showed up to him on um, Reformed War, he's just like, oh, you know, you have a gun on me, but, you know, like, like he's not going to really do anything about it, right? Or you'll be like, oh, like, you'll make comments, like, oh, this is scary, like, you guys are attacking me or whatever, but, oh, you're stronger or whatever. But, because that shows that like, he's very able to handle himself. Kind of like I was saying, like, he has that, like, he's smiling while he's, like, about to take out a best friend, like, laughing about it, right? Like, he's thinking about memories, and then he's like, oh, like, uh, you were so cute back then. Then right after that, I give you, like, a death blow. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was saying. He gets off this very, like, this lastical hitman vibe to me. I believe he's the hitman admiral. Like, uh, each admiral has their own role. Like, uh, I kind of, the cutthroat, but, like, because they're also the one you send when they'll get, you want to get those done, or someone even eliminated. That's who you send, because Because also, too, think about his ability. He could kind of get almost anywhere in a blink of an eye, you know? And he could kind of end you in a blink of an eye because of his ability and, what he's able, and how he's able to use it. So I believe Kazaro is the him and and that's also why. And if you go to that picture on this show, you'll see it too. He I'm looks like, huh? You know what I'm talking about? He looks like a mafia hitman. All right, but anyway. All right, that's what I got from this. And um, I think how far do we get? The page before that. The page before yeah. that. Yeah, this one here. Maybe yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, that's um. This had me dying. Uh, so tomorrow, real quick, I just gotta add before I move on. It's just that he said uh, when he talks about yeah, I'm so strong, I'm so tough, I don't even get hungry. You know, we didn't get to that. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get that. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. Yeah, it's like I don't even get hungry. Then, but I want, I need money though. And he goes, all right, what do you need money for? To buy only Gary, and that which is food, like pretty <laughs> much, which heavy dying. That's why because Arthur started laughing. You say oh, I'm so tough, I'm so strong that I don't even get hungry, I don't need to eat. Yeah, it's like you want you want to save up money to buy food, like you know. But that, that that's just funny about it. But um, it just made me laugh because there's like a lie to a kid. But anyway, what you got? Uh yeah. Um, I actually racial connotations aside. Oh wow. Well, I fully <laughs> yeah. Agree. You can't you can't say gobble ghoul around Yo, words. Wow, wild, <laughs> wild, bro. You don't take them out. <laughs> wild, bro. I can't um, but I actually view lords on the the hitman admiral. I think the motif is there. It's, for yeah. Salino, I think I think Oda is playing that up. Thank you. I might not have said it the way you said it, <laughs> but I think it's there. He, he's he's cold, but he's also you know joyous. Yeah. He, he's he's Lionel brought up um, Saul and Alkiji. Yeah. This reminded me of another battle we just saw. Actually, it's not as emotional or anything, but I like the fact that we got back to back admirals fighting. Oh yeah. People that they care about in that way, like Garp versus Alkiji. And now Kazaru versus uh, Sentomaru. They raised these people up. Yeah. They are their first interaction with mar- real Marines and growing inside the indoctrination. So, like, they're their avenue to being great Marines or being great people for the world government. And they're both doing the opposite, right? Yeah. Like, Aokiji's doing the opposite. Sentomaru's doing the opposite because they saw something that Garp and Kazaru can't see, right? That this person or this goal, this thing is more important than that indoctrination. So I like that. Um, I thought the fight the, the fight scene was cool. I love seeing Kazaru kick. It's one of my favorite things. I remember way back watching him. Have you ever been kicked at the speed of weight? I was hoping he'd say it again. Uh, he didn't. But I loved seeing Setamaru run from the beach. I Yo, thought that was, was funny. As a big dude myself, you know what I'm saying? He could put the burners on. All right? He got some speed to him. And I always liked the, the battle axe. Uh, when Luffy calls him battle axe, I think it's fun. Um, anytime you see people using their abilities uh, to do like the separation thing, I think it's cool. Because clearly Santa Mario uses hockey. Can't work if I'm talented enough, right? And then the whole you were so adorable back then, like, yeah, we have this bond, but like, I don't care. I'm going to do my job. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are to me. I'm going to do my job. To Lawrence's hitman point. I did like the flashback. Um, I had the same thought about the, the Bears thing that you did, Lionel. thought that was cool. But overall, he's like, I taught you everything I could, man, but I gotta take you out. Yeah. <laughs> and he did, so I thought it was dope. Yeah. I think anytime Kazaro does anything, it looks cool. Honestly. It looks just super, like him just kicking Santomaru, like trying to kick him in the face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was just like such a dope panel to me. I don't know, it was just super cool. I love that he ran away like that, that was cool. <laughs> and I think this is confirmation now that what Akainu did Lawrence mm. at Marine Ford and what 
uh, Aokiji did with Whitebeard trying to stab him and the body manipulation of, you know, that's that's future sight, in my opinion. Um, I don't think it's reaction speed. Uh, I think it's future sight for sure. Um, so I think that was really cool. Again, if you look at like the, the, the shading also where Kazar was using his abilities, it's very light in some areas and very dark to show the shadow. And that just means his ability is working. I really love that Oda was mm. going all out with the drawing on this part. I would say that. Um, I have one other question for y'all in regards to this. I'll try to make it quick. We talked about Aokiji having the mentor Garp and him mentoring um, Sentamaru. You guys think Akainu has, like, a mentor? Or, like, or has raised somebody? Habari. Maybe. Because they talk alike, apparently. Mm. I was actually thinking that, too. I wasn't sure, like, who wanted to be under Akainu. Like, who indoctrinated him? It's Green Bull. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's right. He's the only one that... Well, I guess I'll give you the Admiral. But word. It's Green Bull. Lauren's got it. Uh, Yo, I know a lot of people were saying that Sun Tomorrow was going to smack, but, like, he landed a blow. He landed a blow. Yeah. Yeah. He landed a hit on Kazaro, bro. So... If that says anything, bro, that says a lot. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's get into the next one. I just want to bring up yeah. one thing that I don't know if, what uh, Tamara said about the hungry thing. Did y'all yeah. think of Wano when he said that? I did not. Because you know how he said, I'm a samurai, I don't get hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saying that I do that, think that's what he's playing up, but I didn't, or at least did that that like motif. But okay. I, don't, I didn't think of it in the moment. No. Okay. But also the food he wanted too. That's very yeah. Japanese okay. style. Wano. That's true too. And it's fit overall. Might have, yeah. He might have came from Wano. Yeah, because yeah. you know the whole branching, them leaving, and yeah. yeah. Okay. And he does sumo strike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was sumos on Wano. He from Wano. Is that hill? Are these hills from Wano? I don't know. Because because they were asking for Vegapunk. Like maybe they talked to him before, bro. So Vegapunk went to Wano. That'd be wise. With Kazaro? That would have... I don't know what I don't Kizarro think so, is. but I, 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 listen, but I don't could, know. But you could also add, was this before Kazaro? Well, no, this is the Marines, right? In the girl, you know, yeah, like, I think. That, that sent them. Was the Marines that sent them, right? Yeah, there's yeah, Marines there with them. Yo, sure. doesn't Oda have the same as, like, something similar tied around him that Sentimaro does? Odin, yeah. 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 So does Yamato. Yeah. Yeah, he from Wano. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, he theory, from Wano, theory craft bro. away, yo. <laughs> yeah, he's from Wano. <laughs> All right, so Usopp notices that Kazaro just flies up. He, like, laser beams himself up to where everybody else is. And we see the Vega Force, and they're carrying the Straw Hat ship. And Luffy and Bonnie are just eating. And they're wondering, like, what's this alarm that's going off? And basically, it turns out that, you know, Kazaro has entered the area of where they are. And he has, like, a little checklist And basically, he goes, what are the things I need to keep safe and what's important and essential and what needs to be eliminated? And he goes, obviously, Dr. Vegapunk. And then all of a sudden, uh, we see a bird. I forgot the name. Oh, I forgot to. Hattori? It's Hattori. It's Hattori. Yeah. Fly in the air. And all of a sudden, we see Luchi make his move. He goes to finger pistol Vegapunk and eliminate him. And who jumps in the way? Stussy. Stussy gets fingered, and uh, <laughs> she falls to the ground, and what appears to be her being eliminated, officially, uh, we don't know yet, but Sanji quickly gets up, takes the uh, bubble gun from Nami, and says, I need this. Kaku wonders where he's going, and Sanji goes, oh, he must have not told you. He must have left you out. And then all of a sudden, we see Zoro take action against Luchi. And uh, he's like, yo, you thought you could make your move, huh? And then he's like, and then Luchi goes, between Kazaro and me, you're all going to pass away. So Zoro's like, then you don't know us very well. And then pushes him out of the area where Vegapunk and the rest of the satellites are. And we'll leave it right there. So, Seb, tell me what you thought about this. I I did love, um, you didn't touch on it too much, but uh, the beginning part with the Saturn taking inventory mm-hmm. about the, if we're going to lose one, I'd rather keep the pacifistas than the uh, the sea beast. thought that was great because Aro taking control using the authority chip. Again, the authority chip stuff, to, to Larry's point, is kind of just like... It's flimsy. It's, it's like, 
it's just plot convenience at this point. It, yeah. just, it just is. But I like I like when it turns the other side. If they're going to do plot convenience, do it for the enemy mm-hmm. at all times. Yeah. Don't plot convene for us. Um, I did like the Vegapunk feeling bad again. about Like, again, I put Seth Tomorrow in this position. He coerced him into fighting for him, and it's like, you know, now he's down. Right. Obviously, I don't think he's gone or anything like that. There was no nothing like that. But it was na- the title of this chapter was Sentamaru. Just like the la- title of the last chapter was Kazaru. So I don't think he's gone. But it is dope that, that we got that. Um, I loved the again to, to Lawrence's point about the Hitman thing. He has a checklist of what he needs to go over. What do I need to keep safe? It was Power like plant. Tupac. Tupac. Big <laughs> Need to take care of yeah. <laughs> Who's a friend? The man. Yeah, the man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I hope he tosses his gloves, bro. That would be so funny. Um, I thought it was uh, it was funny to me with the the um, the I forgot what it's called. The Vega Force. The Vega Force is carrying them like it's just running and Luffy just eating. Like last chapter, you were like, "Oh, somebody big is coming" and all that stuff. Or two chapters ago, now you're just chill, chilling still. It's like, "Yo, go handle that, bro." <laughs> But um, I, I thought the panel of him saying Dr. Vegapunk needs to be eliminated was great. I really did. I thought it made him look very menacing. It showed, like, Sento Maru, like, in the background, like, dusted. Um, Luchi being the guy that he is, man. He's an assassin. This is what he does, right? Like, he's supposed to. And, yes, thus he got fingered, bro. Uh, I was surprised at how calm Sanji was at that. Mm-hmm. I was. I thought he was gonna flip out. I thought because I didn't. I for once did not read any spoilers on this chapter, oh, at wow. all. Yeah, it was crazy. I was out of town, yeah. whatever. How was that? I thought it was great. I was reading the chapter, page flipping. Like, oh my god, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start doing that again. Um, but I assumed yeah. when Lucci sprung into action and hit Stussy, I was like, oh, this is Sanji's opponent now. Instantly, that was my thought process. Yeah, didn't go that way. Um, he calmly took the gun and bodied Kaku using the bubble gun. I was like, okay, that's smart. And then Zoro reacted. And now it looks like we're getting Zoro versus Lucci, which is cool. Um, I don't... That's not the matchup I want mm-hmm. for Zoro, per se. I was trying to get Zoro versus Kazaru in, but... Or so, I, I want... How do I say this? I just don't think Lucci... Like, I, I wanted Lucci versus Sanji. Mm-hmm. I did. And when I was reading the chapter, I was like, oh, we getting it. Because he just poked up Stussy. And then we didn't, so I thought it was weird. But I like how it went down. Like, I'm not mad at it. It's also funny that Ka- Ka- Luchi thinks he's that guy. <laughs> like, he, you, you don't mention your name with Admirals, bro. You're not like that. You're not like that, bro. Chill out. Calm down. It's not you and, and Kazaru. It's Kazaru. And then, like, you you, you round here with the... He, oh. It's like that Family All Guy right. uh, gif when they put their hands in the middle. Yeah! <laughs> and then everybody's like, oh, and then the, the peg leg guy puts his hand on it. He's <laughs> like, like, no, 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 not you. Not, not you, you, not you. <laughs> not you um, but hopefully, you know, he, he turns up versus Zoro, but, like, you know, I just don't think... I don't rank Lucci crazy high. So, mm-hmm. and then we I'll, I'll save the rest for later, but I did like how quickly uh, Stussy reacted. Yeah. Cause she clearly has like she cares about Vegapunk. There's like a real relationship there, um, and she was willing to sacrifice herself for him. And Lucy got his get back. So that's what your bottom B does, bro. It's, it's absolutely. You feel me? Every time. That and my money. Every time. <laughs> you, think, you think she ain't caught yeah. the money up for Vegapunk before? With my money. <laughs> but yeah. Come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, I got a, um, a lot of what Shabazz said I kind of coincide with. It was pretty dope and cool. Like, I was actually shocked to see Zolo react. It makes sense because Zolo does feel about women getting hit, but Sanji not reacting already before Zolo. And, like, and I thought of, like, if you had the bubble gum, bubble gun in the first place, why don't you do this in the first place? Because we all kind of said this was going to happen. Like, that's the end of the child protect Vegapunk. If you did the job in the beginning, this wouldn't have happened, you know? And, like, because you just gave Rob Lucci a chance. And I thought it was funny, like, because the one saying that Kazao's the hitman, Rob Lucci's assassin. So you have, like, the two hitmen's or assassins are going to team up to take care of you guys out. But, like, again, Rob Lucci's not on that level, bro. So, like, it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I thought it was um, pretty cool with Kazao 
you know, popping up. Like, it seems like he can just go anywhere he wants with his speed and lightning, especially with, I mean, his light. And, like, the fact that it's like this is a light barrier and it could punk, Vega like already knew. Kazal could just go through it. Like, and I wonder, like, if he ever knew, like, for saw, like, Kazal was be the one to take him out. Like, you know, and the fact that he made a light barrier, knowing this possibly could have happened. I thought that was kind of interesting. I wonder. Um, but I don't have that much. Um, a lot of guys said that already. A lot. So, yeah, I'll just move on to the next. Law? Honestly, this shows me, again, proving my point uh, to me, what I believe, is that how efficient Kazaro is. As soon as he took us at Demarro, he got the 30 chip and, like, switched the favor in their side with the pacifistas. And then even the um, um, the special dra- um, the Gorosei member, Saturn, was like, yeah, I mean, he would like to keep them all. You know, you don't want to waste your resources. But it's like, if you could have to choose, the pacifistas is the stronger option than the Sea Beast, you know? But the Sea Beasts are valuable. He's recognizing. But Kazaro switching that over right where now they became their, on their side shows how efficient he is. And this is where the one, the translation thing I was talking about, when he zips right up, one translation, like, he kind of like he was showing remorse. Uh, I guess we could save more friends. Talking about it tomorrow. But this translation shows more of what I was talking about where he's kind of cutthroat. He goes like, he's going through the checklist, but then sees, and I guess York, because I guess she's a friend too. Where then one, the, the untranslation kind of read, he might have been talking about tomorrow, but this one's like, no, he's not talking about tomorrow at all. He's just talking about York, right? And it made me think of like, you know how we talk about real quick about abilities and how they kind of match you? It made me think of like how Gazar was laughing earlier. His ability is light, right? But it also shows that he kind of has like a light attitude towards like everything. Like he makes everything light. Like nothing's like he's efficient, but how his attitude is, he brings like, it's not that serious. Like I could go after Kaido and Big Mom and like he just makes light of it because... You know, it's like, it's nothing to him how he views it. Made me think of how his ability is light. Now, he actually responds to that like it, it, it matches him. And this goes into what I was saying before, because I, I went on before, how they're just letting Rob Lucci just chill in the background, right? And that's where I go into like how Luffy kind of lets his guard down all the time. And the crew kind of adopts that attitude too, where they kind of go with the flow of things, where you, someone's clearly not on your side at all. Like, why would you even... Uh, like you even had Zoro, Zoro and Luffy get upset when they said they just team up, right? They didn't want to do it because like you, one, we don't need your help, and also two, you're not our friends, you're not a Nakama. But they didn't keep that same energy when it came to this situation here, where you even let your guard down to like Vegabuck almost being taken out, and then Sussy taking the the bunt force from it, you know. So that's like I, I got kind of annoyed because those because Zoro was even there, and you're always coming at Luffy, but then you all let your guard down in a situation while enemies are here, you know, and um. And honestly, going further, I was kind of hoping it would be Kazaro versus actually Sanji. Because, like, you know, you have the assassin family member, mm-hmm. like, you know, and then against Mr. P- you know, Sanji, Mr. Prince, against Kazaro, who is, like, the hitman. I thought that would have been a dope callback. But the only problem is, like, who does Zero fight? Because I believe, going back, you said to talk about uh, Sabodi and how this is kind of, like, almost like the same characters. But we do have the Celestial Dragon, NK, the Gorosei. So it made me think. You know how I remember that one arc or video we saw where things were happening in reverse mm-hmm. in thing? So instead of Luffy <laughs> punching the Celestial Dragon, the Celestial Dragon punches Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But like, you yeah, know, that would be epic, yeah. But this time good. it's a uh, Gorosei member, Celestial Dragon, and not that. So I thought of that. So then we'll have the Saturn versus Luffy. But the problem is, like, how does Zoro fight someone? Uh, you know, Zoro's, Zoro's supposed to fight the second stronger person there. That's Kazaro. Why would Sanji be fighting it in that situation? But unless, you know, you get, like, Kaku and Rob Lushi against Zoro, but it just doesn't... I don't think that's going to happen. But either way, um, I think Saturn does step into the play. This is why I'm thinking about it. But, yeah, uh, what you got, Larry? Um, hate to see Stussy go out the way she did. Uh, I kind of wanted more from her. Just more information. I felt like that would have been cool. Um, Lucci, man, you know, I, I've said, I can't really pinpoint sometimes what a conqueror is, but there's a difference between determination and conquering. And I think what people um, might confuse Lucci as sometimes is like him being a prodigy. Maybe he does have conquerors. But to me, somebody that has conquerors wouldn't do something like this. This is just a very determined person who lives under a certain belief, and he lives to serve. Yeah, like, some waited for Luffy to leave to take action. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not that guy, bro. So, and Kazar to show up. 
Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's a smart thing. It's yeah, a smart. It's not thing. a conquer thing. Yeah. Um. I didn't know you were in thoughts. I hate yeah, so, You know. You know. It's crazy. I know. I know. We all want Zoro or Sanji to fight Kazaru, and I truly do too. Like I feel like that would have just been a great payoff for us as fans to remember the recollections of Sabo Odi Archipelago and then see the payoff with Zoro going, okay, I'm not hurt. I'm way stronger. And you're never going to put your foot on me. Again. Like, you're not going to take the straw hats again the way you did before. And I know that that's more like a Luffy thing. Like, you, you basically did this to us. Kuma had to come through and, like, save us. But ultimately, it was Luffy's fault for why everything happened yeah. anyway. Like, yeah. that's just the consequences of your actions for doing something foolish. Mm -hmm. You just had plot on your side. But it would have been a real relief to just see Zoro just took what he took on Thrill of Bark. It lasted all the way to Archipelago. And he couldn't do a damn thing. He couldn't even run. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, it was that hard for him. So, for me... I don't see any other way that Oda could have went with the story than what he just did. I think Zoro has to fight Luchi. He's the second strongest on the island right now. That would mean Zoro's the second strongest. Luffy has to take care of Kazaro because he's the only one that can compete with him truly. Do we want that? I think we, we're going to be satisfied no matter what. But it's still like, damn, I really wanted Sanji to face him. Like, I really wanted Zoro to face him. Like, I really wanted these two guys who I feel deserves that spotlight. Again, are we downplaying admirals? I don't... I, maybe. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I think maybe we are. But to me personally, these... Yo, Zoro just be the first commander, dog. And first commanders have clashed with admirals before. First commanders have clashed not with admirals. But not, not only that. But not only that, though. It, it, it's, it's, it's like we want Sanji to get another upgrade in hockey. But now it's like Zoro can actually hurt anybody in the show. And he, he's strong enough to compete with somebody like Kaido. Would he beat him? No. But can he compete with him? Yeah. So it's like, yo, Kaido's stronger than an admiral to me. So mm -hmm. like, so it's like that would be a good fight in order for our squad to move up. And I don't see how any other way. So Oda, I think, made the right move, man. And I think it was smart for Zoro to take Luchi out. Yeah. Yeah. Move yeah. him away from the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Sanji yeah. and Zoro did some phenomenal yeah. things. He put mm -hmm. him in a bubble. Smart. Yeah. Why do that? Look, Talon, yeah, just man. do that from Yo, why we don't have to deal with that. Yo, we don't. Like, Lauren said this, like, how many weeks ago is this? Yo, why are they not just in bubbles now? Yeah. Like, was, the Seraphim in bubbles. And it kills me. But Luchi, not. That Rob, Nami had it on, on the ready the whole time. Yeah, if they didn't have any guns or yeah, anything. Yeah, I understand cool. that. It's like, yo, the Seraphim legit can be controlled via the chip that Vegapunk has, like, the highest authority around. Why are you using the bubbles on them and exactly. not Luchi and Kaku? Yeah. Yeah. And you know what's crazy, too? We've never, like, I don't remember too too much. We never had, like, a Sanji and Zoro fight against one bad guy. For, I don't remember. Just them two? I don't, just them two. Nobody else. Just them two versus this one guy. Arlong. But that's so long ago. Yes. And it was like, Zoro was injured, Sanji he just was fought. Injured. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But it's like we don't get that moment ever with those two. Ever. So for them to just listen, an admiral, yes, he needs to he like they would have to both take him on. Like I, an admiral's no slouch, but would it have been super satisfying to see Sanji keeping up with Kazaro speed wise and then Kazaro being, yo, Zoro can actually hurt me, hurt me. And then they like fighting each other. And then Luffy just gets I mean Luchi just gets like I don't know, he fights Jimbei? Like, I, like, <laughs> like, 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 bro, I think Jimbei could probably take Luchi in my head. Yeah, so, me too, bro. <sighs> Baby, I'm a hater. I, I think we're all feeling the same way, and it's funny that we do because I, I think it's very rare when all four of us agree, like, damn, that was a, a son we wanted to see. But sorry, guys, for taking so long. Um, Let's get to the final part of the chapter. So... Uh, guys, we're going to get to Super Chats. Just give us a second. We're going to get to calls. Um, if you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Uh, we see Kazaro, and he literally sees the Vega Force, and he's like, yo, what's that? <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah, I don't see their ship. 
And then, uh, you know, they, they go, you know, everybody's like, hurry, hurry. Um, there's an admiral, like, Luffy, you heard? And they're like, wait, where's Luffy? And then all of a sudden we see Kazara go, hmm, hello there, long time no, and Luffy don't even let him speak <laughs> off the rip. <laughs> He hits him with the Conqueror's attack. It's not Conqueror's coded attack. It's not the advanced Conqueror's uh -huh. coded attack. It's just the regular Conqueror's. And he kicks him. Because Arl blocks it. Which is very impressive from the jump. And then he goes, because uh, Arl goes very bad manners to Luffy. <laughs> and then Luffy goes, Kazaru, compared to two years ago, we're a hundred times stronger now. So. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll start with Law. What did you think about the final part? The chat? Oh, I liked it a lot. I loved um, uh, Luffy. Like you said, I love the confidence in Luffy. Or it's kind of like, I liked how Luffy was like, I'm going to say no words to you before this attack. Just know I'm coming at you. Because I was like trying to do an introduction, like, you know, like reminiscing on Chuck Bode. He's like, oh, long time. To, oh, okay. Like, you know, like pretty much I like that. And... Um, and how he's just like very bad manners, you know? Because like, I believe... He, I don't know because I really took it as like you know disrespect, but it's like why would I have respect between you? You're a marine and I'm a pirate, you know. That's why I talked about because I was the commentary and he making like everything because uh, that's usually what he, we've seen it from the from the moment because I was just that's how he speaks, you know. Like uh, he acts like there's more than it is. Like the animals kind of do that. But I love Luffy's confidence and I liked it too because I tried finding it uh, early on. But another, I swear, there's another point where Luffy mentions besides in Desrosa. That when you know an admiral shows up, right? And Luffy was like, I don't want to ha have to run from an admiral. I don't want to have to have to run from a Yonko. I don't want to run from anybody. Especially when I'm trying to aim for Pirate King. The Pirate King wouldn't do that. You know? The Pirate King wouldn't run from anyone. You you live free. You do what you want. Someone comes across you, you kinda handle it. You should be strong enough to take it. And Luffy was like, It's been two years, I trained for this, I'm not running now. I wanted to show where Luffy I swear Luffy had that He said it versus Fujitara, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. then. But yeah, I swear he had that attitude where he didn't want to even pre time skip, but he knew he had to. You know? I was thinking I couldn't find it, but I swear I read it then where Luffy I think it was when Ray uh Rayleigh was training him. But I think it was just like, oh and then I could take on someone like Alkiji. You know, but I swear Luffy showed showed that attitude where he didn't he didn't want to have to run, but he knew he they weren't there yet, you know? So I love that attitude showing here. But honestly, I take back what I said about the the even though it was funny, real quick, uh the special the girl say Saturn punching Luffy. But I think in reverse it'll be like, you know how reverse would be like, all right, Luffy punched the Slush Dragon to start all this. At the end of it, it would be like Luffy punched the Slush Dragon to end it. Mm. You know, that would be more like the reverse thing. So instead of the start of the whole thing, at the end of it he takes out what ends it all is him punching Saturn. So that's I'm gonna end it there. Final? Me. I thought it was a really dope scene, honestly. Um, like, again, it's been, like, two years since they seen each other. Like, you know, Kazao and Luffy. Again, we, we would prefer another fight, and we still might get it, because, again, we think of um, pretty much, like, um, Zolo hit um, Rabushi outside, and Luffy's fighting Kazao now, but forgetting one person, that ship, the Blackbeard ship. We don't know who's there, and we don't know if any might significant. So if things might change. Like, we don't know where Rob Lucian Zola is going. We don't know where that black ship is going. And we don't know how long this skirmish or how long this fight with Luffy and Kazawa is going to happen. So things could just happen. Just It would just, like, I guess this is payoff since, like, you know, Luffy met Kazawa twice, somebody, and Ring for War, and he just got both handled twice. So Luffy got to get his shine in right now, and hopefully we can get a little of Zola and Sanji shining later on. Hopefully. We don't know. Like things, so many things could definitely happen. Um, I like that what Luffy said here, though, with Kazaro was that, and I don't know if you guys thought of it, was that pretty much, again, I'm not trying to get another how you hear the discussion, but Luffy said that we're 100 times stronger now. And remember, this person we heard that the first time to was Shaki, referring to, to her Silver's Rayleigh, saying that mm -hmm. she's 100 times stronger than the Straw Hats right now, three times it. Now, Luffy's pretty much quoting what Shaki said to Kazaro now. Like, you know, and that's just, I just thought of that. And I'm just wondering, like, all right, again, the, those are just words. They're not fully accurate because we can't just say, all right, what, is, what does that mean? Like, like um, Luffy's strength is 100 times stronger. We phrase scaling that line. <laughs> I'm, not, again, I'm not saying I'm doing that. I just said I'm not saying that. But I just thought it was a nice shout out to that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see, all right, good, good. 
We already know what Luffy just faced with Kaido, bro. Like, if you face Kaido and you're not scared of that and you run away from Kazaro, that wouldn't even make any sense. Because yeah. who's stronger? But just showing that how much Luffy upgraded it, we already know that Luffy couldn't beat Kaido regardless. Like, everything happened, it happened, but Luffy wasn't strong enough to beat Kaido. But now Luffy's fighting an admiral, right? Like, you know, so this is Luffy fresh and whatever from the how much power up Luffy got fighting a, and Yanko. Let's see how he how he fares against an admiral now. Is he around the same level as, a, as an admiral? Because, again, we, Luffy's just maybe barely a, a Yanko. To me, personally, Luffy's barely a Yanko now. Granted, he, all the stuff he, he achieved and grew up with, like, you know, his ability, his hockey, but I still think Luffy still has a long ways to go to actually be considered a full-on fledge on Yanko, like the status of Kaido, Big Mom, and Shanks. Luffy's still not there to me. Me personally. So that's what I'm thinking about. What an admiral, though, though. Is he on the same level as an admiral? That's what I can only see. And, like, and that's how I, I guess we're going to, but we're about to see. So that's what I thought was pretty cool. So? thought it was amazing. Honestly. Luffy trying to speed blitz the man of light. I think that's, that's, <laughs> that's peak Luffy. That's just Luffy. Um, I don't know if y'all peeped, but Kazaru was like, Shielding his eyes to see <laughs> further, you're light wearing sunglasses. Why? <laughs> I That's thought that funny. was funny to me. Um, I, I this it made my mind race as to how many ways this could go. Lana brought up the Black Pier Pirates thing. It hit me that, like, I was talking to Josh O about the chapter when mm. he hit me up, right? And I was like, What's the outcome? I think Luffy would win if they if it does have a completion, so I think Luffy wins, but like. What comes of that, right? And my mind was like going crazy places. Like, yo, what if Luffy captures Kazaru? Like an admiral gets captured the same way Garp got captured. And they trade Kazaru for Garp. <laughs> That's where my mind went. And I was like, yo, would, would Oda do that to an admiral? You know what I mean? But like, I thought of the Blackbeard Pirate. Like, oh, maybe Garp's on the ship? And they're trying to trade Garp for Vegapunk. And it becomes... A three-way trade. Where it's like, yo, I got this. You get this. I get this. <laughs> but I don't want to downgrade Kazaru to that point yet, right? That's a future conversation. But that's where my mind went. But um, I thought it was great. I really did. Uh, even the interaction, because I was trying to talk. Luffy just blitzes him. And Kazaru blocks it, like, straight up. Like Larry said, this conquers hockey in there. I like that he tried to kick him, too. <laughs> like, instead of punching. Like, Luffy's whole thing is punching. And, like, Kazaru's whole thing is kicking. And he was like, I'm going to kick this dude. <laughs> like, I thought that was dope. Um, I won't get into the 100 times Dang. stronger thing, Lionel. Because. You made me think of said. What? So what if Luffy said to Kazaru, you have been kicked at the speed of rubber? <laughs> 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 you, know you have been kicked at the speed of rubber? <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got. All right? Yeah. Um, we started out with Kazaru kicking Santumaru. Mm-hmm. Luffy started his fight kicking Kazaru. I think that was a good play on Oda, for yeah. sure. Um, you know, uh, Green Bull took on a Conqueror's attack from Yamato, said it hurt, put him on his face, he got back up, right? To me, we've always had the assumption that Kazaro or the OG admirals were just stronger than the the newly freshly additional admirals to the the crew right the marines i think that proves that um because luffy is stronger than yamato yeah. and i think this is where we're going to start realizing well i hope the community starts realizing that if this was kaido punching or hitting Kazaro, it's a different attack like, yeah. yep. there's different power coming behind that club, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is where where we have said collectively that it's still Kaido over Luffy. Yeah. Even right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that this makes the most sense because if you replace Kaido, like I just said, there's, it's a different outcome with that hit. Because Aro just doesn't easily block that. Like, that's just not happening. I'm yeah, sorry. No, no. Um, so for me... We're going to start seeing some, uh, you know, my, 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 my hopes is that I think we're going to start seeing something weird happen with Luffy. I think he is strong enough to take on Kazaru at this point. Do I think he's a full-fledged Yonko in terms of Shanks, Whitebeard, and Big Mom and Kaido? No. It's the same way I think about Blackbeard. 
I just think that Luffy has everything in his arsenal in order to take on somebody like Blackbeard and give him a high diff fight, and that would be it, right? And I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. People can just hate me for that, but... I agree with Lano. I don't think he, you know, he's truly at that Kaido level yet. And it's going to be very interesting. I think he's more at an admiral level. I think, you know, he's going to have an extremely difficult fight with an admiral because he's not at that Yonko level yet where it's just not going to happen for him. So he needs to use everything in his bag. And it's going to be very interesting to see what Gear 5 is going to do to him again. We haven't, we've had these answers like, is he going to start just changing into this unwillingly? Mm -hmm. Is it going to have some negative effects on him? Is the hockey that he keeps producing taking away his life expectancies? Um, we need some more clarifications. So a piece of me thinks he's going to be hindered while fighting Kazaru. Mm. I literally think that Luffy might be in the fight. And while he's fighting in Gear 5, he might be like somehow interrupted against Kazaru. So it's like, bruh, who knows? But yeah, while you guys were talking, I don't know if you heard me. I heard you, bro. Yeah. My fault. We had to have a one on one conversation. Could have waited. <laughs> you can you can read super chats. <laughs> <laughs> Which we were going to do. Yeah. Right? I was trying to figure out where we were because I couldn't remember where we were in the super chats. I was asking Lawrence. Okay, got Whatever, bro. I tried to avoid this moment. <laughs> that was, that was what I was trying to do. happen. Because you feel a way that I was talking to Lawrence over here, bro. Like 10 seconds, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Could've anyway. like, yo, I could just do this. Out of pocket for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I reading Super Chats now? I mean, you were already doing it. No, I was, again, I was trying to figure out where we were in the Super Chats. That's what I was doing. You can go, bro. All right. What anyway, shut up, Mark. <laughs> we got five dollars from Vasto Lordies. It says, after the first episode, I hated the live action, but once I stopped comparing the two, I find myself enjoying it for what it is. I agree with you all, all you guys, with the okay emoji. So thank you. Yeah. We got another five from Takim two four two one. It says, Lawrence loves his fans like he loves his son. Meet me. Hashtag <laughs> Lawrence D Dilf. <laughs> 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 we got another five from Who You Are Waters. It says, "Not gonna lie, I cried every episode, but episode one of the live action, thanks to some leafy elevation." <laughs> <laughs> you cried. Uh, you, you got high and watched the live action. No, I understand <laughs> that. Uh, we got another five from Vasto Lordies. It says, "Been waiting four days for y'all reaction to the live action because I just knew y'all would feel the same as me." Love you guys. The fish men look bad too. We didn't get there yet. Yeah, we didn't get to the fish men. Yeah, don't spoil it. <laughs> we saw it during the trailer. <laughs> we, we got Lawrence five. thinks they look bad no matter what. <laughs> so does Sebastian. I know how me and what fish men hate. <laughs> okay. We got another five from Diamond Life. It says Kazaro versus Sentomaru reminded me of Luffy versus Bellamy and Dress Rosa because Luffy, Bellamy slash. Sent tomorrow, both fought for what they believed in, even though they were weaker. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got another not, uh, 10 from Charlie. It says, hey, T.O.P.T. family. I missed the last two streams due to work, but I'm able to tune in now. Love y'all also. Seb, I started your DDT series. Some very good content. Thank you. Love all the theories that ain't about buggy. <laughs> <laughs> I like my buggy theories, man. We got another five from Key. It says, Lucci got some nerve talking about between me and Gazzaro, you're all done. Word. Bro, think he yonkle. <laughs> <Word. laughs> no, for real. Did you bro. actually do the other translation with that? Uh, no, he's a girl's like, oh, you finally grew a backbone. Yeah, not a yeah, showed yeah, up, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that translation. Come on, bro. We got another five from Regal Sloth. It says, with his attitude, it seems hard to say why Kazaro joined the Marines. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, being a Marine just gives you a typically a better life in general. Yeah. Like if you're strong. Yeah. Like you. And if he actually was a hitman, he, yeah, he can, like, you know, like, like this, I'm not going to legalize version Pretty of much, like, because Rob Lucci did something similar. I can, yeah, I can yeah. do this, like, getting paid. Now they're here together. Yeah. I always yeah. thought about it, like, people who just join the military just because right. they want to join it. There's, there's, yeah. so, there's, like, a benefit. Like, there's some, like, they'll pay for college or, like, that's how it is here. There's, like, yo, you don't have to deal with pirates, like, 
without training. Yeah, I don't you know think there's I mean? anything yeah. special about it. It's yeah. like, yo, I'm just going to the Marines. Yeah. 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 It's not too crazy. Um, we got another 10 from Charlie. It says, also, who do who does Lucci think he is? I wanted him gone for a long time now. And then he does this to one of my wives. <laughs> Zoro versus Kazaro should have happened because the way Zoro is now is not letting him step on him. Yeah, we, we had some similar sentiments. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not mad at Lucci versus Zoro. He was just... knuckle deep, bro. <laughs> 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 knuckle deep, bro. He's talking about the stussy thing, yeah. man. Um, but yeah, we got another five from Anime's Judgment Day. It says, How do y'all feel if Rock's lost on God Valley like Kaido and Wano where it took Garp and like three other people slash plot twist to beat him with Roger finishing it? Would not like that. I either. wouldn't like it. Yeah, wouldn't but like it's like probably it. what happened. Honestly. I don't like it either. Gotta nah. be what happened. Yo, no, it's nah. possible it's what happened. We got another five from Xbox H L O L. It says a couple weeks ago, I said, hashtag buggy gang. But I have to switch up and say, hashtag Larry got goat takes. <laughs> and of course, hashtag it's all love. Hey. Hey. Appreciate there you. Go. Larry's buggy gang now, though, with the, in the live action. We got another <laughs> five from Bumpus34. It says, a kind of clipped ace. His brother, Kuzan, clipped Garp. And his grandpa and the first admiral he fights did nothing to this man. I got lost there. Okay. Yeah, I got lost here. Wow. One dollar medal. Oh, he's saying uh, Luchi, like Luffy has beef with Akainu and uh, Al- Al- Alkiji, but he fighting Kazaru first and he ain't done nothing to him. That's not true either. That's just yeah, not, that's true. not true. So, so Bodhi, and then even at Marine Ford, he like tossed Luffy a couple times. Yeah. Called him trash. Called him trash, sniped the key out of his hand. Like it was a lot that Kazaru yeah. was doing. Yeah. But I will agree, those two have more. Going on. Mm. As far well, as Al-Kiji? Being... Him and Al-Kiji? He took Robin, bro. He's saying that he clipped uh, Garb, too. Yeah. He don't know. I mean, it's, he yeah, don't, know don't even know that yet. Yeah. Man. We got another five from Charlie. It says, I never got to say this, but Larry does have great takes. And his theory about God Valley was so dope since there's so little info on it. Hey, man, you get love today. Mm-hmm. We got another five yeah. from Villick the Spartan. It says, I pulled up on y'all. I pulled y'all up on my TV last live, and my 10-month-old son was hooked on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he knows great. That's bro. awesome, <laughs> man. He knows so the vibe. That, that is awesome, I love that. Thank you. Love Thank you. It. Thank you. Yeah, man. Got to make him watch One Piece. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. We have 18 minutes. Sponsor. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Marv, let's do the sponsor, and then we'll do uh, phone calls. So we'll see you guys in like a minute. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, difficulty with a relationship, or just struggling from low self-esteem. Listen, I've been there. We've been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your own convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire, simple as that, to help assess your specific needs. And then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule a secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. I happened to sign up at one point regarding my confidence issues. Next thing you know, my confidence issues are not issues anymore. I'm doing pretty well in that area. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Special offer goes out to all that One Piece Talk listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. All right. Marv, if you don't mind, good sir. Throw that phone number and call on Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen they call Tyrone yet? Mm-mm. I saw it. It was pretty good. It's cool. I still feel like Tyrone gets a bad rap, bro. He was just a good friend. <laughs> Trying to help his boy move out. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? 
Yo, this is Andrew. Andrew, hey, what's, up? Yeah, what's, what's up, up, man? How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. That's See, I got here late, so I didn't know. It was, I thought it was at six. Oh uh, no, nah, we we did a three hour special. We were gonna live react to the live action. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, I saw the first episode, and I was just like. Yo, why was Helmepo double cheeked up? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it, I forgot yeah. about that. that yeah, 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 I was, was blocking it out. The bro. cakes. No. Yo, I thought Zoro was gonna tell me, yo, this is, yo, I'm gonna show you where the third sword goes. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Nah, nah, like, nah, <laughs> nah, man. Nah. <laughs> yo, I'll go, but. You know, I'll tell you this though, if Zoro saw that he was a minority, he would have got cut down. <laughs> Bro, he was gonna activate his discrimination hockey. <laughs> that girl that he ate the rice uh, rice bowl was definitely a minority. Was she black? She was though? mixed. Yeah. She was mixed. Was she black though? I think so. Nah, sure, yeah. She was definitely black. She was light skinned. Listen, bro, he ate a chocolate. Cupcake. I expected him to just toss that. Out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. stupid. Yeah, so for my question is that, you know, we, we chatting about, like, who are the worst dads and who are the worst parents in One Piece, but let's talk about some of the good parents. So who do you say is, like, some of the some of the best parents in One Piece? Uh, are we talking about mentor-wise or actual fathers? It, I, could be pa- it could be parents, mentors, etc. Lost parents, or it's a good note. Why are you making that face? The Don. I think the Don is one of the best parents. Keenamon. Adopting Momo? Who's Don? Who are you talking about? The Don. The Don, Don, bro. The, the one that adopted. Oh. oh. Yeah. There's no way for you. No, honestly, when you said that, I thought of the fishman who made Roger Big Mom. Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> oh, stop. Like, oh, bro. Like, I just saw an episode where she, like, legit clipped her own <laughs> son. <laughs> it's like. Terrible. Over, over, what was over. it? Crouton? What was it? <laughs> Kurochi? What was the it food? Was, it was like. Come. I don't, I don't know. know if it was creme brulee or what. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was <laughs> terrible, bro. Um, let's see. I feel like we don't see a lot of parents. In Sanji's mom. Sanji's mom was a good one. Yeah. Why'd you make the face when I said lost parents? Bro, yeah. they was parenting for like two panels, bro. And then they was done. <laughs> so like, was Sanji. Got, no, but we got so like... So Sanji's mom. No, nah, Sanji's mom like took... Took like medicine that she knew would probably end her, so that to give her ch- children a chance. Lord's pa- Lord's parents didn't have a chance to show us anything. Yeah, they did. It was like, yo, we raising this kid to be a god. No, like that was it. He was the the mother and father were spending time. And then also they encouraged Law to spend time with his sister. They took him to the fair, the festival, or whatever. Bro, you you're talking about some filler yeah. right now, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't on panel. I didn't read that. You watched that recently. I did. Yeah, that's that's all. I'm like, there's no way Lawrence, you don't even remember his parents' names. I don't think we got them. Bro, I'm trying to think of like dads I that are good one. dads. But like Mark. all the good dads that are good dads are good dads to like other people's kids. Yeah, yeah. I thought of one. They're the dads Maybe. I stepped up. Yeah, I don't know how you feel. Peg. Who? Who? Page. Peg. What's his name? Who? Who Take are you Paige. saying? Beige? Beige? No, Capone. Capone beige? Yeah, beige. 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 Hell no. So yeah, it's too early to tell. Hey. Hell no. It's too early to tell. His really? son had like bro. a cigar. I'm kidding. It's a big. binky. Yeah, I know, bro. I know, I know. I mean, he there though. Bro, but he, he was there, he there though. <laughs> 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 he just won Larry's argument. Larry, you got you got eat that, bro. You there? We're talking about the best parents. One, he tried to assassinate a woman with his crew, including his child. He technically his tried to assassinate the kid's grandmother. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah, wild. That I don't know if that's W parents. Yeah, well, you, honestly, if the if the grandma's big mom, well, yeah, she evil as heck. She would kill his child. She, she was like, child, that kid is next. That's yeah. big mom, that's big mom's way. <laughs> Paige, Yo, really? Andrew, who's who's your choice? Yeah, I first want to say one thing. Uh, Paige really did spun the blog just to kill the kill the grandma. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be uh, Lawrence, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what happened? What happened? Wait, what did you say, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what'd you say, Andrew? <laughs> I missed it. 
Now, now I said like, of course it would be Lawrence. So you'd be the best. Parent. You're the best parent. <laughs> born, like eighty four kids. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, would oh, yeah, but, I would be a good but, dad. I would be a good dad. Yeah, but in all honesty, I would say like Dot on she's like a great, great parent. Like she truly take care. She took care of three kids who weren't even her her own. Yeah. And yeah, and um, and just the last thing to note, like bro, like when she appeared in like the last like I think it was like last couple chapters, bro, she was dressing like. Like she got one of her said sons she thought was dead, like who's still alive, is a criminal. Her other son's dead, and that now Luffy is going is going against the world government. I'm just like, man, she's she's going through too much. Yeah. And shout out to Belmer. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, I just saw that. Yeah, yeah, forever, bro. Bro. She's probably the best. I you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to Whitebeard too. Mm, that's even a good one. Yeah. even though Whitebeard's one major <laughs> F up yeah. ruined yeah. everybody's <laughs> lives. Yeah. It ruined everybody's hey, lives. Hey man, that's parents. But yeah. but <laughs> granted, listen, you can't throw away a whole couple decades because of like two yeah. weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but it's yo. It was a major setback. Yo, major major comeback from minor setback. Yeah, I'm mad bro. I forgot about Belmer. Yeah, Mom's mom was the best. No. Yeah, I'm just crazy. How are we not getting Ace's mom shouted out? Oh, she. Gets I it. said Rouge just now. Yeah, oh, Rouge, uh, Rouge is definitely. I there. I still can't believe Lawrence said Law's parents, bro. We got <laughs> so many yeah. examples of like extreme <laughs> sacrifice <laughs> and like like they were just being average parents. <laughs> we don't even get that. That's the benchmark now. No, but we don't just even get that in one piece. An average parent. We barely get that in one piece. Though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We oh, barely. Man, you you get me, Andrew. You get what I'm saying. We really. Like, we, you could have said Zeph. You could have said anybody. He said Law's parents. Zeph yeah, used to put hands Yass- on his kids. Could, That's yeah, good parenting. <laughs> no, you could not say Yasa. Yo, hang up on him. You said Yasa. Marv, do the thing. Marv, no, do the thing. He's a bad <laughs> husband and father. Like, <laughs> nah, yeah, were they nah. married? Yo. I'm pretty sure. Well, he oh. left when she was sick. <laughs> so, like, yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> he's like, so, are you sick? Nah, Shaq's calling. Yeah. yeah, bro, went out to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> but Andrew, thanks for the call, man. No problem, man. Also, buggy gang. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, you too, it's brother. It's Thank you. Bro. No problem. Have a nice day. You yeah, too, brother. That was funny. I came with you with that poll, bro. <laughs> Yo, you won, bro. Really? Stop. Well, you, you put it on. Who's the best one? I like one piece. Lois is there. Lawrence D. Dill came in second. Stop. 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 <laughs> I can't. Hey, what's going on? This is Lars from that one piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Hello, it's the broker. Hey, hey. Broker, broker, what's up? Okay. Okay. Let's get this out of the way quick. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. I knew, hey. I knew, I knew oh, I was going to think it was I decent. That. I think. I think the show is average. I go like 4.5 out of 10. It's just an average show. The thing that makes me annoyed is they spent so much money on it and I can't figure out where. <laughs> I can't figure it out. So much money. $18.5 million per episode on average. You... Where did it all go? Where? Oh, wow. Matt Owen's pockets. <laughs> so, so hold on, broker, have, broker. Have, 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 you, have you guys... And watched all eight episodes. No, 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 no. Time, just the one. Watching the first episode. Yeah, yeah the that's what I was about to ask you. Did okay, you watch okay. all eight so, episodes? In that case, are you gonna? Are you all gonna watch every episode eventually? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna do it weekly. Right. Okay. That's oh, excellent. Perfect. In that case, I will save my feelings on it for another time, and I'll just do a theory because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Okay. 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 So. Uh, this theory, it's on Caribou, who I think is a character that's been sort of like just put to the sidelines recently. He, he has a lot of information, like he knows where two ancient weapons are now. Um, he's obviously talking to somebody, he's spying for someone. And I think it's going to turn out that he's spying for Blackbeard. And I think it's all very important specifically because Blackbeard wants to be made king of Pirate Island. Now, in the One Piece world, the only benefit you gain by being made king of a kingdom is to go to Reverie. Because the, um, the fishmen even talk about it after Luffy finishes at Fishman Island. It's like, look, we don't need to be there anymore. We don't need to talk to them at all. We can be our own thing. We've got Luffy's protection now. And they say, no, we need a seat at Reverie. Because if you're an allied kingdom, you still have to, you have to pay the heavenly tribute. So Blackbeard becoming a, a known kingdom means he has to pay the heavenly tribute. So it's, it's no financial gain. The only gain is going to reverie. 
And we know from scenes that we've already seen that you can take people with you to Reverie. I think Blackbeard will just bring Caribou, and that Caribou will be a literal embodiment of a Trojan horse. We've been told on several occasions now that his storage space is limitless. He can take as much in as he likes, and it does no damage to the things he absorbs. They can breathe in there. They clearly have some way of like getting food or water whilst within the swamp because none of the mermaids suffocated. I think that he's going to take Caribou with him, and a massive chunk of his grand fleet, if not all of it, will then attack and basically take over Marie-Joie, whether permanently because he wants to take over there, or whether there's something there, perhaps maybe the national treasure, that he knows where it is and knows that's where he needs to attack. Because I can see no other reason in the story for, one, for Blackbeard to want to be made a, a king of anywhere, because he already has complete control over Pirate Island, and two, why we've been told on numerous occasions that Caribou can store an unlimited amount of things and people within himself. Okay, so... One, I think that's W theory in general. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about it before, Broker. There, there's two things here, though. One, Blackbeard is also about not having to fight random fights he don't need to fight. So having government-sanctioned protection or whatever um, as a king would be beneficial, where not even Marines would be attacking him, even as a Yonko. I guess they kind of don't now, but... It would be like permanent. Well, it's not, you know? well, it's not quite. The, it's not quite the same as being a warlord, though, because you're still yeah. you're still tantamount yeah. to being able to break laws. Right. So being made a king of Pirate Island doesn't protect him or his True. crew. And the other thing we, is, we've seen kings be deposed already. The other piece is, I think, obviously he can't go to Rever like Reverie already happened, right? So like it would have to be some other coronation thing where he'd bring one person with him, because it's not like they're gonna do a whole new reverie because Blackbeard's a king now, you know? So no, but we, 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 know, we know that he's patient, though, so he could be willing to do it and wait until the next reverie. Okay. Then you're saying it's something that we just won't see. I just think, uh, like I said, I just can't think of any other mm -hmm. reason for Caribou's power, for mm -hmm. one. It has to be used... It has to be used for something fantastic because if, if, for example, if we wouldn't have been told in the story the space was limitless and then we see thousands and thousands of people jump out of him all at mm. once, then we're surprised by it and we're almost like don't believe it. We have to then question as the reader, oh, is there a limit to it? What mm. happens? Are they okay when they're absorbed? It, all that sort of stuff. We've been told now that there's no downside to it. You can store anyone or anything in it completely mm. at any time. Which I think. Reverie happens every four years, doesn't it? Yeah, we'd have to be waiting. Yeah. Or is it ten years? Four. Well, it's four, uh, yeah, no, it's four it's years. Four. Yeah. It's four years. But like I said, Blackbeard, how long did he wait on board mm -hmm. Whitebeard's ship just for the Yami Yami? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The man is a planner. He's not strong. Like I said, he's not a guy that's going to go out there, like you say, and start a fight. He's the kind of guy that's going to lay the groundwork, put all the pieces into place, and just play things, play the long game. He's been doing it the whole time. So you think that um, we're going to get another time skip? Oh, absolutely. Again, I, I don't know whether I've told you guys this before. I think we have to. I mm. think in terms of where the, the – again, <laughs> without the top four in the Straw Hats, where the rest of the Straw Hats are, we need them all. By the end of the story, they need to have at least basic observation and basic armament. And we know as readers that it took <laughs> about two years on average – for the main, for the top three straw hats to get it themselves. So if, for example, if we were to see Usopp now get armament hockey and be able to use it over the course of, let's say, weeks or months in the story, it's like, well, why did it take Sanji or Zoro so long? Why were they training for years? Why did it take um, Rayleigh um, six months, sorry, um, a year to um, train um, just the basics into Luffy? We know, and those are characters that are like peak, you know, they're, they're like, you know, almost like, <clears throat> they're special in themselves, you know, they're, they're unique. The rest of the Straw Hat, they're going to need something by the end. I, I just don't see a way that without another time skip, maybe not two years, maybe not something that long, but long enough so that as readers we believe when all the Straw Hats come back and they can use observation, armament, maybe a little bit more as well. Hmm. All right. I, mean, I think it's a W theory too. Yeah, at least for I could definitely see Blackbeard trying for this to be the thing. I just don't know if we'll get to see it 
Because I'm not sure I believe in a two-year time or another time skip. But Broker, we do got to wrap. It's eight. Go, man. Go. <laughs> okay. Thank you, bro, guys. Thank Here's you. I wanted to add, but we don't have time, so we'll talk later. All right. Yeah, yeah. Message me whenever. Hit me up on Discord. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank All you, right. Broker. Thank you. Later. All up. Have a great one. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to run through these Super Chats really quick. Uh, we got a $2 from Raymundo. It says, yeah, hope y'all doing good. Keep grinding, y'all goats. Thank you. Thank we you. got another two from Vilek. It says, he also likes to dance to Banks Brew. I don't know what that was about. Oh, his son. <laughs> that's okay. funny. That's, that's dope. We got another uh, five from Bushy Brow 28 It says, if One Piece could collab for a movie with any Shonen series, not DBZ, which would y'all pick? Personally, I would pick Black Clover. Best Shonen after One Piece. Yeah, probably One Punch Man. Yes, yeah, I was about to say that, One Punch Man. Um, to collab with? I'd say Naruto. Just cause. Naruto. Yeah, I'd say Naruto. Yeah. We got another five from Raymundo. It says, at this point in the story, do we know what, that devil fruits come from only humans' wishes, dreams, and desires? If so, can we explain Chopper's fruit? Just a thought. I don't know that we can explain that. Honestly. Hmm. Well, Chopper. I, I guess if you believe, there's there's more to Chopper's fruit than just being more human. Yeah. I, mean, I think that's what it would have to be. Apu. I mean, not Apu. Uh, Papagu. Yeah, maybe, so, yeah, maybe. the non, yeah, I mean, fish people have wills, right? Like, what are we talking about? Yes, want to be human, okay. Um, but yeah, we got another one month membership to Nakama status from Diamond Life. It says, Lawrence is that dad that stepped up. <laughs> 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 and one final super chat from Roshi1, it says, uh, $5, it says, Law is not the dad we wanted, but he's the dad we needed. <laughs> Hashtag Lawrence <laughs> D. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate the love, though. Oh, man. I appreciate the love, but Sebastian, you started this. I didn't guys, start nothing. Guys, man. thank you so much for the super chats. Also, thank you to everybody once again for just tuning in and watching another episode of us and enjoying yourselves. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll be back next week. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. If you haven't commented, comment on the video. And again, thank you so much for calling in and sorry if we missed your call. But other than that, my name is Larry. Lawrence. Lionel. Sam. And this is that One Piece Talk. Jana. Jana.